Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the more Vault of the Void where we are going in to a new run because we we won. Yeah, we won the last one, so that's good. And uh, yeah, I have no idea if we got a new character or anything like that. I believe right after I stopped the last episode, I got an unlock with a card that I could choose. I don't know if it's in here. Uh not sure. Okay, so you can actually see the mercenary win here, I believe. That must be it. View cards, total wins two. Oh, because of the introduction as well. So we actually have two wins, basically. Okay, that that, that makes sense. Ma yeah, the, the mastery cards. Yeah, I, I unlocked that right after the last run, but you haven't seen it. The one that I have unlocked is the Slick Strike because I liked it. I had like five choices and I went with the Slick Strike. Um, we saw how good it was. It, it definitely in the deck we had. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not too sure what exactly it will. I mean, the mastery means, the mastery card here means that we can have that the next time we are playing uh, with that character uh, instead of finding it out in the, uh, you know, the run. But yeah, that's, I think that's the only thing it actually means, the mastery card, but I'm not too sure. But I guess we'll figure that one out. Let's get into a new game here. I think we should go with hard. So what what's, what is hard? Higher enemy uh, attack power, frenzy and passive values. Enemy health points scaling increased, voice tones, bars, requirement ramp up faster. It sounds like a lot of new things added, but I'm not too sure how much harder that is than normal. But since I have already beaten the normal in my first run, I might as well go one notch up and try the hard one and see how hard it actually is, right? Uh, uh, that's... yeah, why not? So, oh, we do have a new character. But of course, I have, I mean, I've played with Bleed, we, we, we just uh, played with that. We have one mastery card unlocked. We haven't played with a blade, but the blade also has the, the, that mastery card unlocked. Okay, so it's it's basically the same deck, just with other of his... Um, well, it's not the same deck, but it's the same kind of playstyle, you know, in a large sense, because of the combo and the weak and the vulnerable and swift and all that. So yeah, that's, I, I feel like maybe it's trying the next one. I'll definitely go back and try the blade at some stage, but... The Tempest. Let's just check this out before we are making a decision here. A Rythius Sealot of a lost holy order. The Tempest Strike with the power of a raging storm. So a mage or something like that, right? Thunder. Deal 6 damage. Rate 25 on batter. 9 of those. So they are basic cards, right? Okay, 25 rage. Rage was attack and affliction cards. Deal X percent more damage. Yeah. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, the Thought. Block 5. Purge. Seal 1. Wait, what? I, I still don't quite understand the Purge ability and then Seal 1. Uh, gain 1 Seal for every energy spend. Triggering Seal powers at certain levels. Resets at the end of the turn. Not sure what Seal means exactly in this sense. It doesn't really say it here. Can we see it down here? Stormbrand. That is... No, that's also... Something else. Ah! Here we go. Fervor and Seal. The map will contain various heretic sites. By cleansing those rooms, you'll gain favor, which can then be spent on new Seal abilities. Oh, so... Hmm. Your seal will increase during battle as you spend energy to play cards. When it reaches certain thresholds, you equip powers. Oh, okay. So the yeah, equipped powers will unleash. So hmm. so it's like a, a a mana bar or something that builds up, and then when it's getting to where it is, it's unleashing some kind of power that we will have. Okay, um, that makes sense. But are these cards getting purged? Or purge? Are we purging the card? when we're using them. Hmm. Not... So we will lose the blocks over time in the battles or something like that. Uh, Paragon. Oh, yeah, still, I, I don't remember what Purge actually exactly... Because it's not this card. It's, it, it is not uh, the Volatile. It is not... So it's something else. But yeah, it's... Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember exactly what Purge do in the game, actually. 
Yeah, I haven't spent I haven't spent the time a lot of time around. I don't th I don't think we had a the last run we had we had no perch effects. I don't think so at least. Paragon deals seven damage, block five, overcharge one. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Fair enough. Uh, we had two of those. Okay, smite deals six damage x times. Okay, so yeah, that okay. Uh yeah. Um, that's the thunder. I, I'm inclined to, to to go ahead and try this, but let's just straight check out this lightning. Thunder and lightning, of course, yeah. Deal seven damage. Apply shock equal to current energy. What is shock? It's a debuff. Uh, an enemy's shock will be added to an attack card. Cards damage. Before rage is applied. Okay, the shock is reduced by half. So it's probably also some kind of stacking effect where you can get more and more shock up. And the more shock you have, uh, the more damage you can do before the rage is applied. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. So it's got, yeah, I, I feel like that's probably it. Block 10, discharge 1, apply shock 3 to all enemies. Okay, so that's, okay. All right, all right, I see what's going on here, yeah. That's also a pretty, uh, th this one is definitely cool, I like that. Consume X overcharge, yeah, so this one is like a build shock and use overcharge kind of uh, build here, yeah. Because we also got overcharge over here. Deal 16 damage. Overcharge 2. Interesting. 3 energy. This one costs 2, but it's also block 10. And it do the shock 3 to all enemies. So, yeah, okay. Grounded. Each turn, this... What? Each turn, that is even. Overcharge 1. Ought rage 25%. Expel. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So, we do also get a bit of rage here. But, again, more overcharge. And expel. Uh, oh, rage. All right. Hmm. Oh, so this is our starting spell. And that's probably the seal power, right? No. Gain one seal for every energy spent, triggering seal powers. So this is actually something that is giving us even more seal and overcharge. I think the seal is like... It, it, it is probably like shock, some kind of build up towards something, uh, like it says over here, where we can unleash some kind of power. I'm just not sure what that power is. Maybe it's this one. You have plus one max energy when you start your turn... 5 plus overcharge, gain plus 1 energy. When you start your turn, 15. What, is, what does this mean? Lose 1 overcharge for each energy gained by Stormbrand. Not sure. Overcharge, max energy is increased by 1 per stack. At the start of each turn, gain 1, in one extra energy and reduce overcharge by 1. Is this like uh, an artifact we're starting with? But I don't, I don't quite understand this thing starting. Yeah, it's oh well, it's, it's starting artifact. But I, it's it's a bit funky this one. Hmm. What was the other one over here? What was the same one? Okay. And he's starting with another. He's starting with the inflict X. That or she is starting with the uh, the thunder build here. Is starting with this one instead. Okay. Ooh, I think they both look. I think they both look quite interesting. I think I'm gonna go with the thunder to begin with. Why not? I don't actually. No, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with the lightning. I'm gonna go with the lightning. I, I really like what how this setup is for some reason. I just this one is the one I really don't understand. And of course, the shock uh, is mm, up in the air. I'm. I'm not unsure about exactly how the mechanic is working there. I understand the. You know the idea about. Uh, the idea about it. I think. But I'm not too sure how it actually works uh, mechanically. But yeah, that's um, let's let's proceed here and see what we get. Oh yeah, here we go. We got the booster pack. So right, so we got blood for blood. Deal twelve damage if you have lost health this battle. Trigger plus one. It, that, well, I, I guess there are builds where you want to get hit and maybe heal up a lot or something like that, then this card would probably be good. Battle plan. Otherwise, you don't really want to lose health, I don't think. But whatever. Battle plan. Draw two. Discard one. For one energy, I think that's pretty decent. That's a pretty decent plan. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that, I like that. Shield wall. Block 13. Plus two for each ability played this turn. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, so... Yeah, that, that also works into that we have a lot of overcharge and probably will have energy to use it. That uh, That's probably also a good card for us. Uh, Erentry. At the start of the next X turns, rage 25%, delay rage 25%, and seal 2. That sounds pretty damn good. Okay. 
Yeah, that's also that seems also pretty uh, decent. Uh, galvanize. Okay, deal 16 damage, overcharge 2. I mean, it costs 3 energy, so... Yeah, I think the 3 in the mid here sounds really, really good. Not too sure about the 2 damage ones. Probably one of them is going to be fine. Maybe the overcharge, because we're already building into overcharge. Not too sure about the first one. But that's. Uh, I think that's. Uh, it's, that sounds like a pretty good uh, booster pack here. All right. And we do not have any, uh, you know, uh, master cards, so we don't have anything to put in there. It looks like we're starting with a health potion. Proceed. The Void chooses their guardians and assign their blessings. You will face the evil appreciation on floor three, the vault. Yes. So this is actually giving us information on what kind of mini bosses we can get and the buffs we can get from them. Okay. Every third turn, gain 125% rage. Wow, that sounds pretty damn good for us uh, if we're going for rage that is during the void fight starting from turn six draw and discard two at the start of each of your turns all right i mean we don't really need to look at this but we can also have an idea of what kind of build we might want to go for for the last boss when we're looking at these uh void touches will spawn for with 40 percent damage suffered oh okay yeah okay hmm not bad i mean that's never bad during the Void fight, the first card play will trigger an addition, additional time. Oh, that's also pretty good. None of these are really, really bad or, you know, doesn't really speak to me. But it, I think this all depends on what kind of build we're going to go for uh, through the run. I think the Rage one sounds really good and I think this one also sounds pretty good. But definitely not saying that the other ones are not something we could go for. This one also, you know. But it's only the first time. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's going to be uh, interesting to see what we're actually going to go for in uh, on those mini bosses. If we get that far, I mean, I could die before that. We're playing on hard now. Heretic sites. Uh, certain mob rooms along the map will be marked as heretic sites. You will gain favor by cleaning these rooms, allowing you to purchase new seal powers. Isn't this basically just another word for... What was it called on the other guy? I don't know, but it sounds like the same. Seal powers. As you clear heretic sites and gain favor, you'll be able to purchase new seal powers. Yeah. All right. I'm good with that. Well, here it comes. <laughs> now we need to figure out what direction we're going to go in. So there is a lot of planning in this game, I feel like. Not that I don't like that, but here's the thing, guys. It can take me a long time to figure it out. So I feel like I should probably cut. Because this could take me half an hour, honestly. I, I can sit there forever and look at stuff. And, and that's how I'm playing. So I think I'm going to cut it. Figure out the... Because otherwise, I, I feel like it's maybe a little bit boring for you guys to sit through that every time. So I feel like I'm going to cut it here. And come back, you know, for in a couple of seconds for you guys. <laughs> but um, I think I want to plan it out and then show you what I planned out. Just, just a quick overview of it instead. So see you in a bit. That didn't take me as long as I thought it would. As you can see on the clock up here, 11 minutes in. So basically 10 minutes. <laughs> not not too much time spent on that. But I have a generally good idea of what direction I want to go in here uh, in terms of the map. But before we're looking at that, I feel like I should probably go over... The, I, don't, I don't need to see that map of walls right now. Oh, we can actually see that. You see it right here as well. Anyway, if we're going into our deck manager, I just want to quickly say what I've done and what I've put in to the deck otherwise you have no clue at all what i'm up to here so what i'm thinking right now is we are probably gonna go in a direction of a overcharge build where we are not using discharge but we are where we are using bigger kind of you can see here the three galvanized right where we're getting more overcharge and we are using kind of big spells we got the x Aaron tree down here, who is which is gonna use a lot of energy. This um, and, and and many of our um, the uh, many of the I I don't know many of the cars that was out on the map as well is kind of suggesting that I might should go in that direction. So that's what I'm going for right now. Instead of using the discharge abilities, so I want to go away from the dissipate, which is the block ability, because that's discharging the 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 overcharge. I want to go away from that and have more. Um, power in terms of having a lot of energy, right? 
that's what I'm go going for in terms of what, what I want. Uh, there is also these cards that are called uh, Heavy. There's one right here. Blood for Blood. That's a heavy. Attack heavy. I'm also going to go for those because we will get a card. Unless I'm getting unlucky. Uh, or do something stupid. We will get a card that is actually making those really, really good down the road here. So there is a couple of things that I've thought about. So we got the Blood for Blood in. We got a good amount of charges, which is the normal ones with uh, deal 7 damage applies shock uh, equal to current energy. The Blood for Blood is actually quite good when I think about it. Because it's just 12 damage for one energy, right? And it will trigger plus one if we take damage. But just the 12 damage is pretty good. Galvanize. I like them. And um, they do cost a lot, but they give us a lot of overcharge. So we have those three in, which is hard to... I mean, it, it's a gamble playing all three of the, you know, right now. But if, mm, we will see how that goes. It's also, you know, you have to feel it out when you actually get into the combat. Battle plan. And it also got the one red stone that we actually had. So it got draw two, discard one, and raise 25%. The main reason I put it on this one is because that this one is something I will very often use... At the early stages in the turn right many of the other cards or any other cards that i could actually play uh, i think the only other one that i could put it in that makes sense was grounded uh, each turn that the, uh, that this is even overcharge one or rate 25 so i would also very often use this one but it expels so i feel like the battle plan here is the probably the best one to put it in because that is something i always want to use very early in the turns so there we go this so these displayed two energy i kind of want to find other block abilities because i don't really want to go for discharge it it doesn't it doesn't sound like it makes a lot of sense because i have so many of them and why would you would, why would you not go for discharge eh, you know you know yeah we, we'll see how it goes but yeah we got five of those in right now eh, it could go wrong um but the further we get in the run hopefully we will get them replaced uh shield wall pretty good 13 block, plus 2 for each ability played this turn. Yeah, we saw that. Um, definitely something we want to use at the end of... Otherwise, it would actually be good to put Rage on this one. But, yeah, since um, since it's played at the end of the turn, I don't really want to do that to, be, to gain maximum effect of the uh, ability. Uh, and the uh, this one is... Yeah, th this is probably the main... The main reason why I was thinking about, oh, maybe I should have more and more energy instead of oh, uh, instead of discharging the energy, uh, or the um, what's it called? Not the energy itself, but the uh, what's it called? Ugh. The overcharge, right? That's so. I was thinking, okay, maybe I don't want to use my overcharge. Maybe I want to stack it up and get more and more energy, or at least have the ability to gain more and more energy. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of my mindset uh, around it. Um, let's go out on... Let's go back here. So that's kind of the setup right now. So some of the um, key... I would say the... Let's go into the... Where can we see? Map rewards here. Some of the key abilities we can get is this one. Retaliate, deal 5 damage and block 4 x times. That's that's gonna be... That's gonna be... That's gonna be quite big. Can we actually highlight them again? Um, that's gonna that's gonna be quite good in terms of uh, if we get a lot of energy and a lot of um, overcharges and stuff like that. Uh, Limit break seems like a good card. I I, I kind of want it. Uh, seal seven plus rage fifty. I'm not too sure how that works, but it's a again it's a heavy card and uh, this one this one is also heavy. Uh, limited break. It just looks pretty damn good. We want rage. We want lots of damage. It's a big card. Seal 7 and Seal 10. I'm not too sure how that works yet, but we will see how that works. Maybe that's what it costs. Not too sure. But it sounds like a good card in terms of what I'm going for. Then we got Ramble. Probably one of the most important cards we can get. Deal 7 damage. The next time you play a heavy card this turn, gain 2 energy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a key. That's going to be very key to get this one. Absolutely one of the key cards uh, in this uh, setup that I'm thinking about building. Um... We could potentially... I mean, this one is we're going to get in the first fight, actually. So that's going to be something we're going to put in. And I feel like it's not bad. And again, it's a heavy card. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. And I think the battle plan down here is also something we could maybe get. But probably not. Because otherwise we would not get the ramble, if I'm not mistaken here. But yeah, uh, there is a good battle plan in here. Another good battle plan. But we already have one and we don't really need the other one. Block 6x X times and expel. You know, it, it, it might be a good one. And 
some of the other ones might also be good. But for now, that's kind of the best cards that I'm going for. And that's, of course, the, the route that I have taken here. Um, so, yeah, there you can see it. And I feel like we should just get into it because I don't really have anything else here planned out right now. Uh, but that's also a lot of planning. And that took me, well, also explaining to you guys, but it took me 10 minutes to, to you know, get a good feeling of what I want to go for. And then another eight minutes explaining it. <laughs> so what is this first one? A, f a place filled with whispers from the past. A blessing to start your journey. Okay, let's go there. Let's go. Marathon, no, Matron of Memory. Okay. As you descend into gloom, you find yourself confronted by the remains of an ornate figure, peaceful in this tomb of stone. Was this the same story the last time around? It could be. Memories begin to flood your mind like ink spilling into water. Blossomly slowly, blossomly slowly, far from reach. They are not your own, but you're familiar all, all the same. All right. As you urge yourself forward, a voice cuts through the noise like a blade, peacefully and soft, yet bordering on the edge of sorrow and offered to aid at the time of need, wrapped in some ghostly assurance of trust. Very, in, very interesting. What madness awaits you? I think this was the same the last time around, but I'm not too sure about it. I don't really remember it. It's, it's a couple of days ago since I actually played, uh, you know, the first run. Uh, so yeah, not too sure. Gain one random void stone. Lose 20% max health. Gain chi leaves artifacts. Oh, what is that? After praying at the first two shrines you visit, you'll gain one upgrade point. The last run we were only at one shrine and it, it wasn't really... I mean, maybe we need to go there more often now because it's a hard mode, but... Mm, it's, it's not... I mean, we lose 20% of our max health. Yeah. Uh, learn a random spell. I might actually be, because we don't know what we get. But, actually, what was our spell? Can I, oh, it's up here, isn't it? Is that the spell? No, that's the artifact. Where is our spell? Is that the spell? Map and guardian detail. Spellbook, there. Energize. Overcharge one and seal two, yeah. That sounds pretty good in terms of what I want to go for anyway, so I don't know. Um, gain one random void stone. Um, it's between the random spell and void stone. I mean, I feel like the void stone might just be better here because the spell is already pretty good. I could get something better, but unlikely, I would say. Uh, so I think I like the void stone. Did I take the void stone the last time I ran as well? Probably, but I feel like the void stone is just a good pick because it's giving me, no matter what, something I can use in, in one of my... Um, cards. So yeah, I'll take the voice stone. A blue voice stone. Okay. Let's check it out, actually. We want to put it in, probably. So, yeah. Draw one, discard one. That is not bad, but I probably wanted it in my battle plan, to be honest. Well, you know. And then again, probably not. I don't want to discard two at a time. But I feel like maybe the grounded discard one, draw one on one of those. I mean, yes, they are expelled, but Hmm. Could also go f on blood for blood. I mean, I'm going to use that pretty much every time it is open. And I feel like getting draws and discard is definitely good. Um, but it's not the end of the world not putting in it. Hmm. I don't have anything right now where I'm thinking, oh, that's very good in that one. Uh, I just feel like it's a bit gimmicky right now to put it in anything. Yeah. Hmm. I think I don't think we need to put it in anything here. It's not really giving me any real hard value. Uh, so I'm not going to put it in anything. So anyway, let's move on then and get into the first fight against someone. I'm 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 looking forward to see if it's the same mobs we're going to Dark Acolyte Void in. Is this I don't remember if the Forsaken. I think we have seen these before. I thought that might be new enemies when we are playing with someone new, but I think these are the same as the last time around. Those who wander the domain for too long will... Yeah, yeah, they will become the Forsaken one way or the other. These desperate souls have found their, this fate. I remember reading this before, so I will not 
if unless I'm unsure if I have seen something before, I will not read this out every single time. I, w I won't. Uh, but now I know that there is probably going to be a lot of uh, the same enemies. Yeah, you know. So, Dark Acolyte, Void Entry. Um, they don't really do any abilities. What are they? Uh, actually, this is the text I want to read out every time. A well-rounded fight, but you must still be wary of letting them buff their uh, attack power too much. Yeah, so they're buffing. Yeah, right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, fine. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Attack, inflict three threat, mustering, spirit blessing, heal all for 10%. All right, so either we need to kill someone or we need to kill her first, basically, right? Or uh, go for her. Because she's kind of a healer. Let's see, what do we have? We ha well, we could definitely kill someone, I think, unless we don't have another... Yeah, we do have another attack. Uh, don't need block. Charge. Mm, apply two shock equal to current. Energy. Oh, okay. So this is applying to current energy. I See, I don't know exactly how shock works yet. I kind of want to see what's... So it's applying shock to them, it seems. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see what it actually does. Plus two shock. An enemy shock will be added... Will be added to an attack. Guide. Oh yeah. Okay. Now yeah, 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 yeah. I just forgot exactly what it means. Yeah, so we are doing two extra damage when we are doing this, right? Yeah, fourteen and it's twelve. Yeah. So we are doing shock is doing more damage to them. Fine, 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 fine. All good. All good. Yeah. Just uh, just kill her. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, he's gonna inflict three next turn and then plus two AP. Right. Just. Get rid of these three. Actually, yeah, we, because we do have one extra right now. There we go. Four, four energy next turn. That should that should be good. That should be good. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna get dangerous soon enough. This guy. Oh yeah. This, okay, so they are getting another one in. That's fine. That's fine. If we kill him, that's hundred percent. That's hundred percent, and that's hundred percent. Okay, good. Draw two, discharge, uh, and the rage 25% is definitely really good here with six energy. I don't see why I wouldn't do this. Uh, they're doing three damage, so we probably want to have at least a little bit of block here. Because we are not going to kill them all here. I don't, at least I don't think so. Grounded. Um, hmm, what are we going to this? Grounded. We have two grounded, so get rid of one of them. I feel like the charge is pretty good here. I think I'm gonna kill her again. Maybe him. I mean, I can I can definitely kill him with two charges here because we will get the uh, shock value on him, and he's doing six right anyway next turn. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. Three energy left. And we're not taking damage now. Why is that? What happened? Hmm. Why are we not taking any threat next? Uh, what? Did... See? Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. When you start your turn with 5 plus overcharge, gain plus 1 energy. When you start a turn with 15 plus overcharge, gain 2 energy instead. Yes, that's why I do not want to discharge. I do not want to discharge because this is insane. Yeah, L lose one uh, overcharge for each energy gained by Stormbrand, but that's fine. As long as we have enough overcharge to keep going, then we will have a lot of energy and use all those big spells. Yeah, that, that's 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 yeah. Again, going back to uh, my idea of not over, uh, not um, uh, what's it called? This one discharging. Right. But for now. <laughs> uh, overcharge rate. Expel. Charge. I mean, we, we can kill any of them. And I didn't really figure out why we didn't take any damage all of a sudden. But that's okay. That's okay. I'll probably figure it out at some stage. Mm, I don't know. I, I'm going to kill her again, I think. And then again, he's getting plus 3 AP here. She's giving plus 2 to all. And she's doing more damage in the long run with X2. So, yeah, go for her. Um, I guess this one. And then I'm probably just going to delete this one because we don't really need it. And I have two energy extra next turn. All right. 
What was this? Uh, uh, divine power overcharge. So the, yeah, it is like a meter. Okay, and now we got two extra energy because of it. So divine power overcharge two, blessed shield block. That's that's what happened. The, this is the seal three happened. So we got the blessed shield block three, and that is why we didn't get the uh, the threat, right? It must be. But why would it trigger at seal three and not seven? Gain one seal for every energy spend. Triggering seal. Oh, that, again, even working into my idea of not discharging. Uh, triggering seal power at certain levels. At certain levels, but... So it is going to trigger the divine power if it got enough for that. Or or if it, not, if it doesn't have enough for the divine power, it probably will trigger the blessed shield because it will only have enough for that. And if it doesn't have enough for that, well, it's not going to trigger anything. Think that's how the mechanic is working? Not too sure, but I think that's how it is. Well, we only got one damage here. The rest is shields and not very helpful. This one is interesting, but I feel like just yeah, but yeah, you know what? Charge and maybe use the errantry. Errantry? I think it's errantry actually, or whatever. And then just use. Actually, we could. We could get more out of it, but I don't feel like we actually need more out of it. I'd rather have a bit more energy next turn then. So yeah, it blocked three here. But apparently it did it directly. So how do I know if it's going to go for seal seven or seal three? Or maybe it is going in turns. So every second time it's going to take one of them. I'm not too sure. I also forgot about this one. Need to remember that. All right, <clears throat> cool. Yeah, that's that. That should be fine. Eight for it. That not not a problem. We'll probably kill him directly here. Uh, yeah, we got that. You are dead. Five. So it didn't trigger it this time. So it's probably every second time it's gonna trigger one of the either if it got enough. A bit unsure about that, but it's yeah. Deal 20 damage. Like, okay, yeah, so we get this one. That's pretty good. We'll probably use it. Uh, backpack. Oh, we got a card upgrade. Okay. Uh, hmm. That is giving us plus one turn on this one. Okay. Not too great. Not bad either, but it's not, you know. This one, no, 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 we don't want to do that. It's oh, nice, it's just giving us more damage. Go back again. The ground seems pretty good, especially with one extra overcharge on them. But they are expel. Charge is decent. The shield wall is definitely good. And blood for blood is a deal 16 damage, so that's four more on this one. That's basically my main damage right now, this one, right? All the galvanize. But that's not... Well, that's actually six damage. But it also costs three energy, but... I mean, in the long run, we'll have that energy to spend, but right now we don't. Ah, draw three, discard two. I don't know. See, <laughs> I don't know if that's actually good or not. <laughs> hmm. What about this one, the new one? Deal 25 damage, slay, draw 2 and gain 1 energy. <laughs> that sounds pretty damn good to me. <laughs> I mean, gain more energy. Uh, but only if we slay, of course. But yeah, it's like... Uh, it's like... Yeah, uh, since it's also a heavy card and it's so huge damage. I mean, there's only 5 more, but... The other effects it's gaining here is definitely something we want to go for. So if we could just kill, you know, mobs with this when we're up against... Yeah, I, 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 there we go. Second chance. It's going to get upgraded directly. Uh, and also, we need to put it in, of course. Uh, instead of... I think right now it's... Hmm... I think we got too many blocks anyway, so let's just take one of those out and put it in instead of that one. I feel like getting one more attack card instead of, uh, yeah, blocks. Could be a mistake. We'll see. Uh, draw one, discard one. 
No. Still don't feel like it. Nah. No, no. Anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> we can go down here to the treasure. Where we can... With a choice of cards along with it. Yeah, so this is not the shop. This is actually where we get just get upgrades. So we'll definitely go there because it's basically a free, free loot. Yeah, we also get... You also find scattered among the content. 50 essence, 2 souls, and 1 upgrade point. I mean, this is... I mean, the chests are absolutely fantastic. Alright, so what do we get here? This is what we are not expecting to find. Overcharge 1 and apply 2 shock x times. Not bad. Uh, especially in terms of what kind of deck we're going for. Uh, each turn, that is, even. Overcharge 1 or... Yeah, so that's the grounded thunderstorm. At the start of each turn, apply shock x to all enemies. Expel. Uh, I mean, this is the rare card, or whatever you want to call it, and this is just a normal card, but... At the start of each turn, apply X Shock to all... Oh! So it, it, it will come back again. Oh, wow, that's... I thought it was only once. No, no, no. At the start of each turn, apply Shock X. Oh, wow. To all enemies. That, that, that's just a lot of extra damage. If you get that in... In the early stages of the game, with like f just five or six shock, that is gonna be in the in the very long fights a lot of damage. I mean, that's that's a lot of damage. Go ahead, take it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a that's that's actually really really good. That's a very solid one. Okay. Um. Oh, we the yeah, upgrade. What is that gonna do? Upgrade. Apply shock X to all enemies. Oh, this, what? Wait, what? Is he gonna do it twice? Apply shock X to all enemies. Oh, this oh so that's the one. That's a one-time effect. Yeah. So it it will both have the multiplier that is gonna come back every single turn, and then we'll also have another effect applied where it's only gonna do it once. Okay. Okay, ah, uh, the, I don't know. That that's a little bit more gimmicky, but uh, yeah, it's it's not bad. Question is, is there anything else that is actually better to upgrade right now? <clears throat> because I'm definitely gonna use that card. Still like the shield wall. Blood for blood is also still good. But still, since we already upgraded one attack card, we might want to go for a block to upgrade here because the shield wall is definitely gonna be there for the remainder of this uh, run. I'm sure of it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see, deck manager. So what do we want to take out here? I don't think I can take out a block yet. I think I think we actually need these four blocks. Along with, of course, the shield wall. Um, I think I could take out a galvanize, a galvanize but... I don't know. Oh, actually, actually, that would be the charges then, if we're talking about shock. Yeah, let's take out a charge instead and take out in the thunderstorm. Why not? In the long run, I would take out the charges probably anyway. It's The shock is not something we're building really heavily into anyway. But, of course, this one is kind of a standalone. The new one, the new... Uh, why where is it? Right. The X, the Thunderstorm is kind of a standalone in terms of shock. It's just very good value for what it's giving us. Uh, it's just very good value, I feel like. Um, and it's also getting expelled, so it won't cluster the deck uh, in, in runs. So yeah, I feel like it's pretty good. Right, next one, Mop Room Shifting Winds. Here we go. Yeah, we have also seen that one before, and we can get this one out of it. Gain one energy every uh, every even turn. One, so that's an extra shift. Is this one different than the other one? Gain one energy every even turn, plus one max energy. Yeah, that's uh, that's a new one, and it's uh, a very very good card. It's actually a very very good card for us. All right, cool. Let's get started and let's get our card. <laughs> Whimper at two banes. That's annoying. I take five, three, plus two. Okay. Probably wanna. I mean, the banes are not terribly annoying, but 
a 33 here. That's a hundred percent. This is only 50. I'm probably gonna go for the uh, main guy here to just stop them summoning more and also not getting a whole lot out of this guy over here. I mean, I could also kill this guy first, but I feel like going for this guy first seems like the logical thing. We do got the errant tree to begin with. Could be a good deal here, using a lot of energy on that to begin with. Battle plan. Eh, that's... Mm. No, I'm actually thinking, uh, get rid of these. Get rid of... I'm actually going to spend one energy here to get two cards, because it's basically giving me one extra energy then. No, I also have to discard one. So it's not giving me energy, but it, I'm not losing any energy either. And I get the Rage 25. But I won't use the Rage 25 in this round. So, I don't know. The only other card I could find would be... Thunderstorm that could potentially be better than air entry to use here. Or maybe second chance. Just kill a guy straight up. Probably worth the risk, I would say. Didn't find any of them. Alright. <clears throat> That's fine. I mean, this one is also nice to play right now because it's just giving us overcharges and rages every single turn. Or one or the other. Uh, get rid of the charge. And then get rid of this one. And I feel like... This is giving us X turns. This one is actually also giving us quite a lot. So I feel like doing this. And just setting ourselves up really big time for the next couple of rounds. Not in terms of energy, but in terms of potential damage and ray. Uh, what is it called? Uh, the other thing we also gained. Uh, do, 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 do. What is it called? What did we gain? Rage and delayed rage and overcharges. Air entry, yeah, air entry at the start of uh, the next X turns, rage 25, delay rage 25, and seal 2. So we also gained seal, of course. I feel like that was probably good. Uh, I know we didn't do any damage, but... Okay, there is the thunderstorm. Probably not the best time for it, but whatever. We definitely need to block here. We don't even need all this block, so... It, it, this card is not going to be good before... Probably floor 2, even floor 3. Because we don't need that much block here in the early stages of the game, I feel like. But whatever. Mm. I'm wondering if it would be nice to kill someone here. But then I do not really have enough block. Apply shock to all, discharge. Mm. It's, not a, it's not a bad choice since we're not going to use the Thunderstorm for quite a while here to maybe discharge. And just shock them instead. Set ourselves up again for our next turn. And... I mean, we could technically still kill one of them and get overcharge again. I feel like that's actually not bad. Just straight up kill this guy over here. Goodbye. I mean... Uh, uh, no, actually, I feel like this. He's doing 8 threat next turn. Might as well do it. And we gain a lot of overcharges. Yeah, that's, that's okay. We're gonna deal with... How? How did we take damage? What? Didn't it say... Haven't... Didn't it say zero threat? How did we take three? Or was that... That's, that's very confusing right now to me. I must have missed something. You lost three health. Why? What? You suffered three threat gain from it. That... I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. I'm, I I can't. It does doesn't give me the, uh, the information here, or maybe it does, but I just don't read it um, correctly. But yeah, I can. Yeah, I, I do understand that it's giving us. But was that after I played my? Shield wall? Yeah? How did it give me those three thread all of a sudden? 
What happened there? Did one of them have some kind of effect that is triggering threat on us? Hmm. Well, that was annoying. All right, well, uh, it is what it is. Uh, deal 21 damage. Yeah, so it will trigger one extra. Hmm. So we'll do 50 damage, actually. Wow. I think just killing him is pretty good for one energy. Um, and I don't see why I wouldn't do it here. I mean, I do need to take care of 14 threat as well, but... Well, first things first, kill this guy. Then we can block 10 of them and take one damage. Maybe I should do it at the end. But then again, we are shocking them and then can do more damage with the charge. Yes. Yes. I could probably kill this guy now with the charge. Yes. Give me one more energy next turn. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. I mean, we take one one damage, yeah. Um, I'm surprised how much damage I'm taking here. I mean, I'm only taking four damage, but I don't know about the first three. I understood this one damage. That's, I mean, that's un un unavoidable in this scenario. Uh, I forget about this one again. It's so annoying. That's so annoying. Well, anyway. Yeah, and it's giving me... Oh, yeah, because it's giving me seal. I, I still need to figure this one out when it's doing the seal 7 or the seal 3. I do not understand that. I do not understand how that mechanic is working yet. But yeah, I, of course I hit this and it gave me two seals more. Then it triggered one of them for reasons. Um, yeah. Oh, it's going to flee. Oh, we can't allow that happening. Uh, yeah, goodbye. So yeah, it, it wasn't triggering the plus three here, even when we had six, because we just got it. So it's probably turn-based, right? If you have just gotten the plus three seal, you cannot get it again. So you need to go up to plus seven and the other way around if you got the plus seven. So yeah, I feel like that's how it's probably working. Um, 50, Yeah, but annoying that we lost four health. Well, we did get a really good card here. And an upgrade for it, if we wanted to. Ricked. What is Ricked? At the start of battle, or when your deck is reshuffled, place this card on top of your deck. That is actually really, really good. Because we will start with it every single game. And just, for one energy, put it out there. And every single turn after that, we have plus one max, uh, max energy. Oh, every... Second turn because it's 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 every even turn, right? Okay, okay, okay. But still, it is still very very good to upgrade for us in terms of what we are going for. Sure. The question is now, what are we gonna put it in for? Not a block. I I, I still feel like we need more block uh, than anything else. I think a charge. Alright. Well, that is on its own also very good. We also got a rate 25% uh, Void Stone. Do, do, do. Well, not too sure about that one. Oh, whoops. I hate when I do that. I just want to see the tooltip, right? It's, <laughs> and then I click them instead. Second chance. I kind of don't want these to be on attacking abilities because the, otherwise you won't get you you it won't the rate 25 won't go in before after you have attacked them so it's like you you probably want it on a defensive ability or on a buff or something before you're actually attacking them so grounded but it is expelled but yeah thunderstorm also an expel that's also expelled. We actually have a lot of expel cards now. Shield wall would... I, I'm tempted to put this on shield wall. It's also making me want to use shield wall more often. And it is definitely right now our best blocking ability anyway. And I don't want to put it in any of those. So I feel like shield wall 
putting 25% rage on that is making me inclined to put to use it even more often, even if it's blocking way more than it probably should. Oh, wait, no, hold on, I'm stupid. This I also want to use at the end of turns. Or at the, you know, near the end of the turn. So uh, no, that's actually not a good idea. Hmm. So I don't really have anything that I really want to put it on unless I'm putting it on a rantry. Giving us even more. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll do that. I might as well. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. It's not the, it's definitely not the best here. But we don't really have a really good card for it. But is there something I could, what could I put in this that would be better than this? Block? No. Overcharge? Arguably, maybe. Yeah. Um, not that one. Draw one, discard one? No. So it's it's between it's between overcharge and rage anyway. So yeah, um, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's, again, I'd probably rather put overcharge in it, but mm, I'll do it. I'll I'll gain rage on it. Uh, I'm okay with that. I mean, it already is giving me rage, but no, it's just giving me more directly as well because otherwise it's delayed. Uh, anything else we need to do here? Yes, we do need to put in... We already did it. Good. I was getting ahead of myself there. Um, so we got the spell chart. I mean, we basically need to go here if we want to go top. And we definitely want to go top. So we need to go here. Oh, we actually do have enough if we want one of these spells. Sift 4. Discard a card from your deck. Yeah. Uh, draw 1. I mean... Having more options is never a bad idea. Because you can change the deck before you're going into a combat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not bad if there is something I'm sitting there thinking, oh, that's actually worth it. Uh, draw one, upgrade all cards in your hand the rest of the battle. Very gimmicky. But draw one is of course good. But upgrade all cards is... Depending on how far you are in the run. Uh, or how many upgrades you're going to plan on taking. Apply slow too. What is slow? Reduce friendship by one stack. That's very gimmicky. I uh, don't really see. I mean, that's very situational. This one is less situational. Probably worth 140, to be honest. Do I want to spend it here? Or do I want to spend it... That's costing souls. There is nowhere else we are going to use money right now, as far as I can see. So I feel like actually taking this and... The draw one is definitely good. That's just basically one energy. How? That's a uh, five turn cooldown. Okay. And upgrade all cards in hand is also very, very good right now because we don't have a lot of upgraded cards. And I'm not spending these anyway, anywhere in this first layer. So, yeah. I mean, overcharge and shield is actually better later on where this one is really good for this layer. I'll take it. I'll take it, and I'll probably use it for uh, from the get-go here. And um, let's get into the spellbook and do that. Cool. Let's move on. It's probably gonna be two hours anyway, every single episode. But yeah, let's move on. <laughs> These creatures will be get stronger when inflicted with debuffs or when allies die. Take care with which one you target when. Okay, so. The uh, shock is not too good to apply to them. And we also want to make sure that we are not attacking them when they get some kind of whatever effect they're getting and do bad stuff to us. <laughs> good. All right. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Gain plus one frenzy the first time it suffers any debuffs or when an enemy is killed. What? But there is... Oh, when one of... Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, a, when, when one of the other ones are gonna die, it's also gonna get a frenzy. So, yeah, okay. So... We wanna take them down... Preferably one by one, because otherwise... I don't know, I don't know. Because they also... Hmm... Interesting. I mean, they only have 24 health. They do 8 threat in the next turn, apply vulnerable 1 and stun 1. So, Oh, that's actually really bad. I probably want to kill this guy really quickly off. 60, 60, 60 percent in terms of the war score or whatever you want to call it. Battle progress. Probably want to go for this guy. Can we kill him directly? That would be really good, actually. 
probably not. Definitely want to use this right away. That means I cannot use Galvanize unless I'm getting rid of... I mean, I'm getting rid of these. Maybe I should actually save one of them. Because we know we're going to take 8 damage next turn. But the shock is terrible here. Um, Use that. This one is... It's alright, but in this particular fight, I don't really like it. I'm going to get rid of it and actually go for damage instead directly here and overcharge. Overcharge is going to help me out probably a lot more than anything. Hold on. I should probably have used... That is going to give me a lot more damage. That's going to give me 22 damage on the uh, Galvanite here if I upgrade it. But it's not... I mean... <laughs> but it's also giving me one more card, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's not the uh, that's not a great card to get right now. Um Shock is really bad against these guys. And then again, if I do that. No, they will just gain more. They will just gain more damage for next turn. It's not good. This is definitely the best I can do. And then just uh, get rid of the, of the other two. For next turn. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna delete that block as well and just hope that I'm gonna get another block, basically. Because I think feel like I've, I actually need the energy more than anything. Uh, so right now it's going for the seal 7 because it cannot get the seal 3. So divine power overcharge 2, which is not bad either. Alright, here we go. 8. Flat. No, it, that one didn't do it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it, it was that one's turn first. Huh, we did get one. Okay, that's good. Did we get the other one? Ground? No. So we do need to use this one here. Right. So we got five energy. We are using two. Might as well use it now because it's giving them shock no matter what. And if we can use the shock and actually do damage with it, that's probably better than not doing it. So, yeah. So again, that's 25 damage. I feel like we can... Do that. Probably use this to kill him. Probably use this to kill another one. And we draw two and gain one energy and maybe we can do something else. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. Still have energy. Maybe, can we kill? 12, 7. Potentially with the 3. Yes, I, uh, 12, uh, that's... Uh, tw uh, <laughs> Um, I'm really bad math here. 19. <laughs> oh, we also have the galvanized, but that's not going to be enough. I feel like this is better. 19. Yeah, we don't have enough with that, but... No. Wait. That's going to be... Still not enough. <laughs> Just, I think we are, are we two damage off? I think one or two damage off. Anyway. Do that. No. Oh yeah, we are one damage off. Yeah. But that's okay, we will kill it next turn, it's okay. Uh, just get rid of that. One damage off. Still pretty good, still pretty good. All right, overcharge again. Must have you've been using the seal. Three. So technically, if I'm correct, it would use the seal three now because it just used the seal seven. But I don't. I'm still a bit confused about that one. I, I'm not checking it out, you know, in, often enough to actually know if it's if, if I'm right or not. Um, uh, goodbye. Yeah, it did. It did use the plus three. Okay. Okay. I, I think. I think. I think that's how it works. Trigger your seal ten power. Seal ten power. We don't have a seal 10 power. Wait, what? <laughs> Apply one shock to all the enemies. You seal 10 power? We don't have a seal 10 power. Seal oh, oh, wh what? W what is going on here? Here you can exchange favor for new seal powers. You start each turn with a seal 3 and a seal 7 power. However, you will have a purchase. You see... What? You will... Have to purchase your seal 5 and seal 10 powers. Oh, okay. Right. 
Each slot can only have one power equipped at a time, and some powers will require you to purchase the first power in the tree. Okay, and what does this cost? It costs this, which we do have one of. Okay. So see, okay. So we could buy seal 10, which is add all rigged cards to the top of your deck. Next card played will cost one less. That's not bad. But we do have a lot of X cards as well. But uh, yeah, that's not bad. But I'm not too sure how good it is. And it costs seal 10. And we would have to get rid of one of the other ones. The question is... Oh, we can... Where can I get in here again? I would like to know how I get into this menu. Probably by clicking this, I'm thinking. But yeah, um, block three, reduce common threat. And right now we are having that. That's the starting power, block three. And yeah, okay. So we could also go for something else here and just not use that card that we just gained. Unless we want to take this, that card we just gained, useless. Um, deal 8 damage to all enemies, apply shock 3 to all enemies, gain 1 energy, draw 1 card, discard 1. That is very good. That is very, very good. This one, seal 5, delay rates 25%. Yes, kind of. Deal 6 damage to all enemies and rate 25. This one. Oh, it's instead of overcharge. Ah, the overcharge is dang good as well. But we also do need to gain the energy to use the overcharge anyway. So I'll get enough to spend the energy that we gain from it. Eh, I don't know. Either that or we need a lot of card draws so we can get rid of those cards for energy. It's one of the two, right? This one is also... We have one rigged card right now. Next card play will cost one less. I mean, this is also good because we had a lot of cards that cost a lot of energy. So it's basically also saving energy with this one. But is it better than... I mean, it's better than block 3. But then we will need a lot of seal to, you know, use these abilities up here. I feel like it is. I feel like we're gaining enough... I feel like we're gaining enough, uh, what is it called, seal power to actually get both seal 10 and seal 7. Often enough for this to work out for me. So we are going to go for it. We are going to go for it. And that spell we just got, or card we just get, uh, got, also triggers this effect without using any of the seal 10 powers. So that is... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. So how do I actually... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Now it's both using the seal 3, seal 7, and seal 10. But didn't it say we can only use two powers? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So how does that work? So it actually... Here you can purchase and equip new seal powers. Clearing heretic sites on the map will grant you a favor, which you can spend here on new abilities. You'll gain one seal for each energy spent in a turn. Right. You equip powers... You equip the powers will automatically trigger as you reach the different thresholds, 3, 5, 7, and 10. But it will do it in turns. That's what they're kind of not really spelling out here. Um, so we'll do 3 first, then 7, and then 10, and then go back to 3, 7, 10, right? That's how I think it works. It's just not... I don't know, It's maybe they could have kind of made sure that everyone understand that. Um, still have that blue one. Right, let's uh, take a look at that card again. Power spike. Trigger your seal 10 power. Purge. Apply one shock to all enemies. I'm still unsure about the purge thing. What would we take this for instead? Hmm. Probably a charge. I'm I'm confused about this card. I, I will see what how it works and how the mechanic of the purge thing is working. 
apply one shock to all enemies. Purge, apply one shock. I'm not so sure. Anyway, we'll see that. We'll see that. We need to move up here because there are no other way to move. And then I want the ramble. Rumble, not ramble. Rumble. Deal 7 damage the next time you play a heavy card this turn, gain 2 energy. Yeah. Absolutely. Give me that. Give me that card. Dragon Wilping. Uh, this creature can inflict burning and it may attack multiple times with high frenzy. Cool. Hopefully we can deal with that. Hopefully. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We actually got it right now. So we can actually trigger the effect directly. Which was giving us... All trigger cards at the top of your deck. Next card played will cost one less. We already have it right here. So maybe I should use that first. But then it's going into the discard. So, hmm, how's that working? The deck is over here. So it will... Unless I had this one in here. I'm not sure... Add all rigged cards to the top of your deck. But isn't that what rigged is already doing? At the start of the battle... Or when your deck is reshuffled. Oh, only when it's reshuffled it actually goes on top. Okay. So this one is making sure that it will be on top. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay. Um, in that case... We don't really want to use the power spike. Because it's not making any sense to use it right now. Unless we want to play the next card with one less... Hey, it doesn't really... I'd rather do damage here probably. And do a lot of shock damage probably. I still feel like this one is the one to go for. What was this? Uh, up yeah, oh yeah. Up yeah, upgrade all cards. Yeah. And this card, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We'll do that. And uh, Galvanize is pretty good here. Charge, grounded. Probably want to use grounded here. And I feel like the power spike is probably the one that's going to go here. Sorry. So, hmm, we have three right now. I probably want to use Golden Eyes to get the overcharge too. And then we could potentially do two more things by getting rid of two other things. Shifting winds. I want to do that. I do not want to do grounded, I think. Or do I? Do I want to do grounded to set us up? Because he do have 189, so we can't kill him, you know, very, very fast. So I feel like this, and then get rid of the two charges to do Galvanize here. Yeah. Alright, sorry about that. I just got a message. It, it wasn't you, it wasn't you, it was me. I haven't thrown my uh, phone or put it on silent, so... Thrown my phone, phone in somewhere else. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Nine, six right now, and nine in the next one, okay. Each time your deck is reshuffled, this enemy will gain plus one AP. Okay, didn't really see that to begin with, but that's okay. We don't really reshuffle that much. Hmm. Definitely gonna do a uh, dissipate. Dissipate? Dissipate? Yeah, that's probably how you pronounce it. Galvanize again, probably not a bad idea, but it costs three, so... Eh, I feel like maybe doing this... Do that, blood for blood, and then actually delete these three to have a lot more energy next turn. Could also do a galvanize here. But we haven't seen a lot of the X cards yet. They're right here. So maybe we just want a lot of, um, because we probably want to use them. We probably want to have a lot of energy next turn. Is my thinking here. Uh, I wish there was a way where I can see where we are on the list. I think we are probably... Actually, I can see that right there. No. Nope, I can't. Still confused about that one. Um, hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's that blinking here? Shifting winds. Gain X energy every every even turn. Plus max... Okay. We got... Wow, 7 energy. Did we get an X? Yeah, we got the thunderstorm. At the start of each turn, apply X to all... Many. Oh, man. Oh, man. But well, we do need to take care of that and block most of it. We can. But that means we cannot do the biggest thunderstorm we want. But 
that is something I want to use near the end of the turn, which is not really working with the Thunderstorm. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I can do both things. No worries. I can do... I mean, I don't need the... Yeah, I don't... Actually, I can just use... now. I don't need the extra uh, block here, so it doesn't matter. I can just use it and then get rid of some of these. I can all of them. Do the Thunderstorm. And here we go. And here we go. And it went to 10. But did we get the ability, actually? I don't know. I didn't see the effect popping up. We got the Bless Shield, we got Divine Power, and we got We Fade. So yeah, all all of them. So I guess it's actually not in turns. It's just if you gain all 10 seals, you will get all three abilities. I suppose. So I was wrong the first time around. I think that's probably how it works instead. So we actually need to use 10 energy to uh, get the uh, the uh, the effect with the uh, Ragged Weave of Fate kind of thing. Cool. Nine damage, and some of our spells are costing zero, which is great. Uh, one X. I mean, the Xs are not gonna get be affected by this, but that's fine. Twenty-five. Thunderstorm. Yeah, they applied nine extra damage on him, no matter what kind of spell we are putting on him, or attack damage we put. We probably want to do the second chance here. More than definitely want to do that. Um. 25 damage, I mean, plus the 9, so yeah. But I feel like we might as well use this and get the rage 25 up. Discard one of the dissipate. Or maybe the yeah, no, actually just to, yeah, just that one. I don't feel like using the errantry here. I'd rather do a good amount of damage here instead. And we definitely need to do that. I should actually have applied this shock beforehand, but that's probably not a worry. And now we discharged. Yeah, I don't... This one with only two... I might, I'd rather take the three energy for next turn. Yeah, that's fine. We just need to balance not taking any damage and just doing a couple of hits on him from time to time. That's what we need to do here. And also kill him fairly fast, but not... We're not in a really worry about him getting too much damage here that we can't handle. So that's a pretty big galvanize right there. 28. Charge. We didn't get... Oh, we did get a block. Okay, so... Yeah, do that. That's fine. And then just galvanize for 50... And uh, do two overcharge to get that back up and running. And I guess we could do a charge and then get two energy. Or we could do a galvanize. That's 25. It's already pretty good. And then maybe instead of, you know, using a galvanize and use all of our energy this turn, gain more energy next turn. Yeah, sure, why not? Get rid of it. All right. 12, but I think we can kill him. Close to, at least. Well, we do have blood for blood, charge and charge. Yeah. So, yeah, actually, this one is good because it's not going in turns. We can just trigger it like we have used 10 energy. So, this card is absolutely fantastic. But I do want to see how it works. And I can afford to do that right now. So, it just gave us that and... It gave me an energy as well, didn't it? Yeah, it gave, yeah. No, wait. Hmm. Did it apply three shock? I think it did. I think it did apply three shock. Because we are normally having nine from the... Uh, where is it? I don't know where it is. Somewhere down here. What is that? The next card played will cost minus X energy. This has no effect on X cards. Okay, that's <laughs> good, 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 good. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. It also gave us the effect of uh, not costing anything here in the next card. There we go, there we go. Good. Heritage Sight cleared, plus one fever. Oh, uh, favor, uh, fever, <laughs> favor. 
Uh, and we got the Rumble card as well, and we can take something else in the favor tree. Take three or whatever it is. Cool. That was that was nice. That was nice. That was a good fight for us. And we also have an upgrade. Right. Uh, let's see what this... Uh, because this one is really, really good. It's just giving us more damage, it seems. Deal nine damage the next time you play a heavy card. Gain two energy. Uh, deal seven damage the next time you play a heavy card this turn. Oh. See, this is not only in the turn. This is... Every time we play a heavy card, no matter what turn it is, in the future. Easy pick. Easy pick. Uh, right, so we could get... There was this one thing. Because we don't have a seal 5 right now, and I now understand that we will get them. Depending on how much energy we are using in the turn. We might as well get the uh, delayed rate 25 here, because otherwise we will it, it would just be wasted not getting getting it when we get to five right so click that and gain it so now we got four different abilities that will be applied if we are using 10 energy uh, every single turn that is interesting but we are of course not going heavily for seal in our build but i think it will get triggered very often because we have the ability to get a lot of energy and also get a lot of cards well overcharging at least so, yeah, I feel like that's uh, that's very, very good. Anyway, we need to go into the deck manager and actually put Rumble in there. I will do that instead of a charge. Instead of a charge. This Rumble is going to be... I mean, how many heavy cards do we have? One here. Uh, second chance is heavy. So that's two. Three. Four. Five. Uh... Maybe only five. But still, every time we're using one of those five cards, we're going to gain two energy. If I have used my rumble, that is. That is a lot of energy, man. That every time we're basically using our attack abilities, we gain two energy. <laughs> that's that's going to be interesting. That is going to be interesting. And that works into the seals as well. So, yeah, it, 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 that, that can go crazy. We probably don't have enough draw to uh, to actually make this work right now. We probably need more draw cards. <laughs> because of all this energy we are now going to generate. Um, block 14, discharge 3, block 14. Actually, I don't want that right now. But I kind of need to go there. No, I, I could go up here instead. I could go up here instead. But a chance to trade in blood for some rare and uncommon cards. We Is this blood? Where is blood? What is blood? We don't have any blood, I don't believe. What is it? Oh, blo blood in terms of our health, of course. Oh, man, bloody idiot. <laughs> okay, so we could get some rare and uncommon cards. I mean, this card I do not need. I do not want more discharge block effects. I, I, I don't want it. I don't need it. Uh, and it costs free energy. It's not a good card. The only reason I went down here is to get down here. Which I do want. That's seal plus 7 and seal 10 plus. That's just giving me more rage. And it's a pretty good attacking damage. And it's a heavy card. But I can get there anyway. If I go up here. Down here. And then down here. So I can still get to this. But I can't get up here. Unless I'm going there. That means I need to, I need to either take this or this. And I feel like this one is better. I think the Limit Break is probably the best card I can get right now. This one is nice, but I feel like this one is actually working better with our build. So I feel like going up here, look for what it is, uh, or look at what it is. Go to the Merchant, which is probably not going to be the best Merchant in the world because we don't have a lot of Essence. And then go towards the Mob Room down here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with it. All right. That's, that's, oh, these, oh, wow. These look rather expensive because we're losing max health. Not just, not just health. We're losing max health. What is this? Blood Pact of the Cautious. Deal block two each time you play a non-volatile uncommon card. Delay block three each time you play a non-volatile rare card. Okay. And what is that costing me? Buy free, get for free. Sorry, what now? 
<laughs> Sorry, what do I get things for free here? Uh, and this one is Blood Recipe. Recept of the Reckless. Okay, block two each time you play a non-volatile on So this is the same. Five, five. But we... Well, hmm. How many, how many of our cards are uncommon? I mean, that's the gray cards, right? A non-volatile uncommon card and delay block when you use a rare. What exactly does it cost? Buy free, get for free. I'm so confused. I'm so confused about this. This sounds absolutely incredible. Can I, and I can buy them three times or what exactly? Let's just take a look, quick look at these. But maybe there is a really good card here I might want to get, but I, am I losing any health by doing this or is it just for free? And is it any? Is there anything bad about this? Because it looks it, it, this deal seems too good to be true, right? And then it probably is. De uh, delay block two each time you play a non Buy three, get for free. Get for oh, oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Ah, I get it. I need to buy three things, and then I get this for free. Okay, I get it. Okay, now I get it. I cannot click this. I need to buy three things, of course. Could you please stop messaging me? I, I need to. This phone. Could you please just not text me, right? It's like, turn that volume down. Come on, stupid phone. <laughs> uh, man, I hate it sometimes. I hate phones sometimes. Actually, I always hate phones. I'm not a phone user. I, I just, I only have it if someone actually needs to call me. That's that's basically it. Uh, all alone, deal twin. I, I probably not, I probably wouldn't go for free. That's a lot of max health just gone. Uh, deal 12 damage to all enemies. Solo trigger 2. What does solo mean? It will trigger if the target is the only creature alive. Oh, okay. So either you do a lot of damage to enemies, all enemies, or it will trigger twice for 12 damage. Interesting. For 2 for two energy, that's not bad. And it's heavy, uh, which means I get energy back. Uh, divine Retribution. Rage 50% x times... Deal free damage. Oh my. I think I'm gonna go for it. Especially if I can get one more card. I mean, these two is... Right now I'm thinking, yeah, I want those. Um, <laughs> and if I can get one more and get this one as well. To get those blocks. Just free blocks, basically. Oh yeah, then we're talking. Then I would maybe go for a lot less max health. I don't care if I got 40 health or if I got 100 health. To be honest, I don't really care too much about it. If I'm already leaking a lot of health, uh, then I'm probably losing anyway. Uh, imprint, add two volatile copies of the next attack played to your hand. Okay. That could actually also be very, very good with the heavy cards because I could get volatiles of the heavy cards and then keep playing, keep playing. That's, that's also interesting. N again, not a not a bad one. Definitely not a bad one. I do like that. I do like that. Deal 7 damage to all enemies. Sift, uh, sift 1. Seal equal to its cost. Yeah, it's giving me a lot of seal. If I could get rid of one of the, you know, cards that is costing a lot. Like, But it's a bit gimmicky for me. It's, or, I, would, I don't know if I would call it gimmicky, but it, I don't feel like it's worth its value here especially not compared to the imprint uh plan strike deal 12 damage if you have overcharge draw one see we do need draw we do need draw but i don't really need another damaging ability I w see here's the thing i'm buying three cards that are all playing into doing damage i'm not getting any block here and i am really missing out on block that do not have the discharge i mean i don't maybe i don't even care about the discharge anymore just because we have so many things that are not in need of the overcharge ability anymore. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. And I'm gonna buy that. And we're down to 48 health, but I don't care. Because these three cards are so valuable in this deck. So valuable. Um, this one was actually arguably the worst of the three, in my, in my opinion. But it's still very good. Still very, very good. All right. 
Um, and we got this one for free, I believe. Yes. Yes, we did. Delay block two each time you play a non-volatile uncommon card. See, we don't... We, we just bought three uncommon cards, but we still get something out of them if they are rares. So we get one from this one. The other two, yeah, that, 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 that doesn't really work with this one, but this is just for free. These three cards... I think... It's a big risk. Of course, it's a big, big risk, but it's also a risk not taking them because of how good they are actually are in our deck. So that was interesting. Go into the deck manager and... Well... Uh, ooh, we also have an extra... We have draw and discard. Probably want to use that now. We also have rig it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, put them in. And we need to find three cards we want to get out here. And then we need to find out what we want to put that into. Uh, grounded. Now, that's that's still very good. That This is still very good. And also because it's expel, so we, it won't cluster my deck. Um, and, it, and it's a really good buff for us. Shifting Winds, definitely good. Thunderstorm. Kind of gimmick here, actually, right now. But it's also an expel, so... Uh, it's it's okay. This paid. I don't think we can take any block out, and I don't really care too much about the discharge anymore. Power spike. Mm. It's okay, but again, it's one of those. Uh, well, it only costs one energy, so it's uh, it's actually quite okay. Um, battle plan. Definitely want that one in. Divine retribution. Yep. Galvanize. Yeah, I can't. I probably could go with one less here. Second chance. Yeah, I kind of want that one. It's not. It's not something I necessarily need in there, but it's definitely not bad. Uh, bad all alone. Yeah. Well, we just bought it, uh, and I feel like it's probably even better than second chance, to be honest. In in many ways. Uh, this one is important. Charge. I think we can go without the uh, shocks here. I think taking out two two charges might be it. Yeah. I don't see why the shock value would add too much to my deck here. Uh, right. I mean, it is, but it's not very very important in terms of these um, these charges. Uh, I can get I can get the uh, I, the shock value or the shock here. It's not important to how I'm building my deck. So I can take those kind of things out. So we're down to 20 again here. I feel like we are getting a really good deck. Uh, I, I feel like we are building something really cool here. Draw one, discard one. I don't know what would that be good on. That is getting expelled anyway. Galvanize. Hmm. It could actually be good on Rumble, if you think about it, right? It, it's, um... Is there anything else this one could be... Anything else that I could put on this that would be really nice? Not really. Not Block, not Rage, not... Uh, what is it called down here? Overcharge would be okay, but not that great. And definitely not that one. So I actually feel like draw one, discard one on Rumble is actually quite good. Because I also get a possibility of getting a heavy card that I then can use directly uh, after this. That seems to be logically, in logically enough of a decision that I'm going to go with it. There we go. And the other one is Rigged, which I'm not... Still not... We still only have one Rigged card. Only one Rigged card. And we do have now the ability to get more... We definitely want it out there because we have the ability with the seals to get more regular cards on top where we want them to be. Um, so, what would be a good regular card here? Hmm. Rage 50% x times deal 3 damage. That's a lot of rage. If we can get it out enough. This is x so that doesn't really help us out with... Yeah. Uh, trigger your... See. Th see, this one is starting to look like something... <laughs> but putting trigger on it itself... But that could make 
sure that I could get every other trigger effect more often as well. So it doesn't make a lot of sense putting it on it right now unless I'm having more trigger effects. But in the future, if I get more green sockets in, that would just go crazy with how many... Yeah, I, I kind of like that idea. I actually kind of like that idea a lot now when I sit here thinking about it. I'm not sure if you understand what I, my meaning here about it, but the more times I can trigger the seal 10, the more times I can get the... Um, what are they called? These green ones. The green void stones to trigger to go on top of the pile. So it'll happen more often and more often and more often because of the seal 10 getting triggered more often. But it, it, that's only in theory, because I did a lot more green. I mean, I did probably need two or three more green uh, sockets to put in there to make it really crazy, crazy synergized. But yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go for it and see what happens, right? Um, all right, let's go for the merchant. But yeah, this uh, this game is incredibly good as a deck builder. I got to say, the, the, uh, the amount of different synergizing you know things you can build here it's just awesome it's just absolutely awesome all right all right hmm anyway anyway i probably need to cut it right here i i i actually just i just saw the messengers that i got before on my phone and i actually need to cut it there is something i need to do i thought i had time to play but sometimes you just you know but you you won't you won't see it I'm, i just need to save the game you know and you know and just cut it and, and be back in a second for you guys. But it's going to be a, quite a while. I need to go out the door and do stuff. Anyway, we uh, we will do the merchant here before I'm going to cut it. So let's just check it out. Smite, deal 6 damage X times. Eh. Deal 7 damage to all enemies. Solo, apply vulnerable. Mm, eh. Deal damage equal to half the target's shock to other enemies. Well, <laughs> we're kind of going in the other direction of not applying more shock. So... Not not really. And the other ones we can't buy anyways. We don't really need to look at them. Um, We could have this upgraded, but I don't... Deal damage equal to half the damage. Deal 9 damage. Uh, no. <laughs> Why is there no block spells here? Not that I don't dislike our current blocks. I feel like we actually need one more block. Uh, compared to other things we have in our deck. I feel like we are missing block too much to be comfortable especially now when we have uh, only 48 health left but uh, no 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 dice we didn't get it <laughs> we didn't get a good good block here hmm. and i'm not even sure what i would take out if we did get a good block uh yeah but that's definitely something we could take out still anyway i'm gonna um, i'm gonna i'm gonna just save the game here and uh yeah, and go ahead and do my duty. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a second. Eight hours later, finally back at the game. Oh, man. Responsibilities, am I right? We, we, we wish we could also just sit here and play all day long. Every single day. I mean, I do. <laughs> but that's not gonna happen every single day. Anyway, I believe I can just re-enter... Oh, okay, so we are re-entering the merchant here. I actually thought I was re-entering the game or something like that. No, okay, fine, okay. But yeah, we already know from eight... I mean, a few seconds ago for you guys, but eight hours ago that there is nothing in here we want. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Good, let's move on. So, where are we going? Where are we? We are right here. Where, where, what was the idea? Eight hours later. Oh my god. Ah, need to remember what I was up to, right? Um... <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't be that odd. So we could go down here, but that means we can actually not go in here. Okay. Uh, that was the block 6x times, which is not a bad one. Intervention. Uh, this one was recur. I don't really need that one. To be honest, I don't believe we need that one. Return a chosen card from your discard to your hand. Um, not really. This one was the... Oh, okay. That's the limit break. Yeah, that's the one we wanted. I just needed to make myself 100% sure again on what we were up to for the next move. <laughs> well, yeah. Definitely down here. So we are uh, yeah, losing out on those two options and definitely also losing out on the elite up here because we're going... 
yeah, we are losing out on that elite. Actually, no, we could get in here and then go up there. Uh, that's actually a possibility, but we don't really need what is up here, and we would rather probably have the retaliate instead of whatever the elite is giving, which we don't know what is. Uh, yeah, re retaliate seems like a very, very good card. Uh, deal five damage and block four x times. That seems like a very good card as well. So that's probably that direction we are going in, which we kind of already knew. I just wanted to update myself here. <laughs> so yeah, let's go for the limit break. And whatever mob is down here, that is the gloom rooms and blight ward and more gloom rooms. An aggressive fight with creatures that can both stack poison and increase their own frenzy. It can get tough to withstand their attacks for long. Right, so we want to kill them fairly fast. Battle progress 40%. So I think it's probably better to just go for the main guy and make sure that nothing else is spawning. I mean, that at least to me. At the start of its turn, the enemy will consume the leftmost... Yeah, so definitely killing him because he's consuming the other gloom shrooms and increasing frenzy by one will not uh, will not increase the battle progress bar. Okay, yeah, so yeah, definitely going for him is straight up is the ideal choice here. How is our deck looking? Did I forget something in here before we were continuing? No. No, this is exactly what we are looking at. I was just looking if we had some new cards or anything. Nothing new over here. No. Cool. Start battle. Here we go. Right. 56 damage. Uh, or 56 health. Imprint. Add two volatile... Oh yeah, that's oh yeah, that's the crazy stuff we just got. Add two volatile copies of the next attack played to hand. Expel Rigged. And those... Would become... Oh, how was it? See, eight hours later. I already forgot what I was up to. That would be... Because, because of this one, because of the heavy rumble, uh, what the rumble is doing to heavy cards, this would go crazy. So, rumble, imprint, that is already four mana. Because these volatile copies of the next... Oh, right, we don't know what attack card we're going to use. So, that's one, two... Could use this one, but we can't... I mean, we, can, we don't have enough mana to actually use it. So that's the problem with this setup right now, is we don't have enough energy here in the first uh, hand to actually do a combo that would actually be ideal for the volatile cards because we don't have enough energy to use them. Um, especially not with all alone, because it costs two energy. Huh. Otherwise, this would be absolutely fantastic. But it is still doing a lot of damage. It's doing 24 damage. We could almost kill him. With two of them. But I don't think we will have enough. So one, two. And then we need to use this. This is four energy. And then we could potentially do a shifting winds as well. Because we can't do the volatiles anyway. We wouldn't have enough energy no matter what. To actually use one more volatile card from the all alone. That means we would do 12 damage to everyone. Instead of triggering it at one. Yeah so okay. Or... We could go in another direction and do shocks. Hmm. No, I think I like the all alone rumble imprint kind of style instead of and also do a shifting winds early on. Gain one energy every... Yeah, definitely. We want to go in this direction. Um, so what I want to do here is do the shifting winds. Unless I'm completely mistaken here. I just fucked up, but we'll see about that. Then do that. Get rid of the thunderstorm. Do the rumble. Actually, I did fuck up, didn't I? Yeah, because I only have three mana now. E great. Draw one, upgrade all cards in your hand. I forgot about that as well. I'm still gonna do it now. Shield wall, okay. Get rid of it again. So now it's doing 12 damage. Trigger three times. That's not, that's not helpful. That's not helpful right now. Three volatile cards. Wow, okay. But we can't use them, which is the problem. Deal nine damage. Oh, wait. I can actually get a copy of this one. That means I will get these effects two times. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Hmm... Yeah, because I get it, but I need to discard one as well. Oh, I got a draw, and then I need to discard, but I will get this rumble as well, which is... Wait. 
Yeah, discard this. I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna use any of them, so... Whatever. And then I get... <laughs> then I get the rumble and I could do it again. Oh my god, yeah, this is so crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm not getting a lot out of this, but still, it's it. I think it was worth doing, to be honest. Now I can discard this one. And then discard this. And do rumble again, or grounded. I feel like just doing this again is probably worth it. And then I can discard, I suppose, this one, because it costs two energy. And then do the grounded. Oh, I didn't get an energy. What? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, of course, because I discarded it. I didn't actually... Well, I discarded it by doing it from another card, so I wouldn't get the energy. Okay, but still... <laughs> that was interesting. So how did... What did... What happened down here? We have Rumble six times. We will... Every time we use... Every time we use a heavy card, we will gain six energy. That is so broken. That is just the most broken thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that was probably worth it. Gain X energy every uh, even turn. So we even get all more energy from this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I was lovely. Absolutely love that. Oh my god. Okay. Please give me some heavy cards. Alright. Poison? Uh oh. Poison 4. Okay. We already blocked 2 because of the uh, seal. Yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, I don't know if it was the seal or something else, but I think it was the seal. Yeah, 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 it must be. Anyway, what are we doing here? Do we have any heavy cards? Yes, we do have Blood for Blood, which is a heavy card. So it will give us six energy, uh, way more than we need. But so here's the thing. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play Blood for Blood, get the seven, use the... Oh, no, wait, hold on. I mean, I don't really need to use these cards, but the shock alone will help me out. So, if we just play the Iranity now, uh, hmm, that's the problem, right? I'm just wondering, it's, I don't really need two of these. So, if I get rid of this one, that means I can get one more out of it. Nah, oh, this is actually a little bit annoying. We haven't lost any health here, so it's just 15 damage. This one overcharged one... Oh, yeah, that, that, that's fine, it's fine. But I don't really need to play any of these. It will just be bonuses to play them, basically. But if I get... If I use this now... I cannot play this unless I'm getting rid of one of these. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. See, we already took care of the block by just doing that, so that's good. Now we definitely need to get rid of one of those, so we can do the blood for blood. And that should give us six energy. <laughs> oh man, I, I already like this. And then we can do these two, but uh, I mean, uh, yeah, um, I, I don't see I don't see why I wouldn't do it, because I think I got more than enough in, uh, energy for the rest of this uh, fight. And also that one, of course. And that is also giving us one more... Sh I don't know actually what it gave us here. Overcharge? Yeah, it gave us overcharge. Making sure that we potentially could have, have even more energy in the next coming rounds. But I don't think we were going to need it in this. I mean, this fight is not that hard. Uh, so, but you can see how this is going to go crazy. And this was completely new to me. This synergize, I haven't even thought about it before this uh, fight. Well, oh my god, this can go crazy. Um, okay, okay. Trigger your seal. Uh, block. I mean, we need... Wow, 21 block. Jesus. Okay. We definitely need to do this then and get some block out of that and also a couple of other good things like the raise, the overcharge and add rigged, uh, rigged cards to the top. I think I do have one rigged in here probably. Actually, no. We only have that one. Okay. Oh, we got two of the uh, galvanized here. Huh. Which could actually kill two of them. Do we have enough to just directly kill? I don't think so, but... No. I think I'm gonna need to go look for other cards. I mean, we know what the next card is. That's not gonna be helpful in terms of block. That's actually... Wow, 21, really? Yeah, well, it's adding up, I guess. Yeah, wow, three, four times. Okay, and then probably the other two also attacked us this uh, last turn, so 21. Also because of this poison. Well, I'm gonna do this. 
That's three block. Okay, good. And we need 18. Also, okay, yeah, that, that also made sure that these two, I forgot that, also made sure that these two are only gonna cost two, or at least one of them is only gonna cost two. That is very helpful. I am pretty sure we will kill this guy. I mean, it's just... It's a lot of... Actually? No, he's not an elite. They, they won't die. The other two won't die just because I do this, but I might as well do it. We gain another overcharge and some small seal and stuff. Right. Lots of stuff. Um, I think we definitely will do this because I, I don't think we can actually kill both of them here. We can kill one of them, but it doesn't matter in terms of getting damaged. So I think I'll take the less damage this turn and then probably kill them next turn. Let's just... I mean... Let's see what we get. Maybe we get lucky and we get another block. Uh, because it will reshuffle. And then we will have another one. We already know one of them, but we don't know what the next one is. That is actually a block. Perfect. Uh, so we can get rid of... Uh, oh, we need to discard one. See, here's the thing. I'm not gonna do this. I'm definitely... I mean, the, yeah, it, it's the heavy thing, but... Uh, I don't really need the... Oh, wait, hold on. I could actually... No, because I don't have the energy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I can't do it. Anyway, I was just thinking about something here where I could use both of the heavies and then maybe kill them. But no, I don't I don't think so. I don't, I'm not going to gamble on that. So we're just going to get rid of that. Um, and get... Oh, no. Ah, I fucked up. I fucked up. It's two energy. It's not one energy. Well, we're going to take eight damage. And I don't think I could have avoided that eight damage anyway. I could have killed one of them, but that wouldn't mean that would still mean I would get eight damage on me. So I couldn't actually do anything here in terms of not taking damage. That's annoying. That's annoying because we only have 48 health left. So that was uh, that was not great. That was not great. Hmm. Okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. Another six damage, but 12. 12 is way easier to deal with here. Um, but yeah, I mean, we are probably a little bit squeezy. Uh, probably need some block, at least one more block card. I feel like that's probably what we need. Um, so, I mean, we can definitely deal with the block here with four energy. Um, but here's the thing, can we kill them instead? No, not really. Not really, but we can definitely kill one of them, which I will do. And hmm, yeah, I need some more draw. <laughs> I need to get more cards. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna block it, and then I'm thinking which one of these X's are gonna be the best. Probably the shock. I mean, it already got six. Uh, yeah, just get rid of the other two and just go crazy here, giving us a lot of seal things. All the way to 10, actually. So, yeah. Poison 2. Doesn't matter. This guy's probably gonna die here. Yeah, that's more than enough. Alright, but, yeah. 8 damage. That was not ideal, but I, I don't know if it was actually avoidable. Unless we could kill him earlier. But, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, we actually got two of these favors now, don't we? No, one. Okay, one of them. Okay, good. Good. We got an upgrade. Okay, good. Good. Imprint. Three volatile copies. I, I don't think we... <laughs> it... That would be fun. Why did I make this... Wait, is imprint actually expelled? I think... Oh, I thought the I thought the volatiles would be expelled. This is also an expel, so actually putting Rigged on it was... Technically still good, because I still want it early on. So yeah, it's still the Rigged is still good on it, but... Mm, you know... Uh, <laughs> solo tr what is this? So, uh, yeah, trigger three times, not that great. Draw three, draw eh, not really. Blood for blood, just more damage. Not bad. Anything on the other side here? Power spike. Three shock instead of one shock to all enemies. Eh. This one is uh, plus one turn. Okay, not really great. And seal two. No, it's the same otherwise. And this one deals six damage. X times. Apply shock. Hmm. Limit break. 75%. Rate 75% and rate 50% on seal 7 and 10. I don't still don't really um, know exactly what this is giving me. Except from just... 
I think it's giving me extra things on CL10 and 7. But probably only if I do have the rage abilities chosen. I don't know, but I'm still going to use it to find out because it's also doing 30, da uh, 30 damage. So, uh, yeah. This one, block 12, this no, absolutely not. I actually, the imprint is the one that is, yeah, kind of, either that or blood for blood, just for, mm, yeah, no, actually the imprint, one extra volatile, that can go crazy, man. It's just, it's just, you know, I don't have anything that is going to improve me a whole lot right now, and this one I know I will upgrade no matter what. At some stage, because it's just insane with the uh, synergize of other things we have in our deck. So I will go for that. So, are we, oh yeah, the seal power, right? So right now, we get rage here. We don't get rage on the uh, 7 ability. Or the 10, actually. We don't get rage on any of those. So right now, we have the... Uh, uh, this one is actually not great. I don't like this ability. It's not... It's, not, it's just... Meh. So maybe draw one, discharge one, gain one energy. Not great. Uh, discharge one, apply shock eight to all enemies. So both of them are actually discharges. I mean, I'm not against the discharge. And this one is also gaining me energy. And a draw. And I'm not using my discharge to anything else. Except from just having a lot of energy. Or, you know, the overcharge. I'm not using the overcharge for anything else but having a lot of energy and using big spills. But this is fairly good. This is also okay, but I think this one is better in, in our setup. Um, delay damage to all enemies. Apply th shock 3 to all enemies. Eh, you know, whatever. Gain 1 energy, draw 1, discard 1. This one, on the other hand, is very, very good. But that's, this one is also good. Overcharge 2 is also very good. Uh, you know, they are pretty equal to me. So right now, this one is still the better choice for me. Uh, the last one here on shield 5. Rage 25, discharge 2. Delay rage 50, okay. Rage 25, deal 5 damage to all enemies. Nah, you know what? Not really. I'd rather take the delay rage 25 than actually using my... Yeah. Deal 6 damage to all enemies. Rage 25%. This is block 3. I don't think the block 3 is actually worth it. I think maybe the rage 25 is actually maybe our best choice here. Unless we want to go for this. Hmm. Since we have some really big hitters, I think the 25% guaranteed rage here is better than the block 3. I'm gonna do it. There we go. It is done. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm saying that I need more block and then I'm just, eh, you know, take away that seal 3 for me. I don't need that block 3. I need more rage. <laughs> gonna come. It's gonna come back and bite me in the uh, knee or whatever. That, that was that was Monty Python refer reference, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Soul Collector. Wait, hold on. Do we want to go to this? I mean, uh, is there anything here? Some items are tainted with the Void's Dark Essence. Although, although they come with benefits, they also carry their own mission. Yeah, so that's where we got the... Uh, what is it called? Bane. The Bane we had in the last run. Um... I can always say no and don't take it. So I don't see why I wouldn't go here because I will still have this option. So let's just go down here and see what it is. It's my current idea. But I probably want to do this first just before I'm moving. Limited break. I'll take that in, please. Thank you kindly. I will get rid of... I'm actually thinking about getting rid of a galvanize here. Or a grounded... I like them. I, I do like the grounder because they only cost one energy and then they're just gone. Bang. Overcharge one, uh, overcharge and rage and it's ability that's going to stay. No, I actually like them. Um, power spike. Nope. Don't want to get rid of that one right now. Definitely not. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not great with my current seal, but it's not bad either. That's for sure. This one, raise 50% next time. I think we got one too many of these kind of X cards in there. Could be that one. We got the X here. If it, that's what, This one I actually like because it's also giving me... Uh, I don't know. 
Ooh, this is a tricky one. This one is also, it's just really, really good. I think this one is better than the other one, even without uh, the, the stone in it. Where is the last one? Didn't I have three? Oh yeah, the thunderstorm. You know what? This one, I, I this one is kind of expellable. <laughs> I mean, it is expel, so it will not be used more than once. But I think I can, I can go without that one. It's, I could also take it in again later on, but it's not something that synergizes a lot with anything else. So I, I'm inclined to say that I want that out instead of the uh, what? Where is it? Limit break. Yeah, that one is definitely synergizing a lot better with the current setup lots of rage we are using a lot of seals and there's the big heavy attack deal 30 damage four energy yeah i'll go for it and i think that's it for here so let's move it on here now cool all right let's see mm. just taking a slope of the coffee i need it i need it the raven watches your trudge toward the broken stomp Eyeing your with silent approval, you can feel the void's corruption deep within this place, twisting its way deep inside like the sound of scraping metal. The creature led you here, and you willingly followed, knowing all too well that the darkness that consumed the bird long ago, it led you to this moment, to its gift, if it is a gift. There is power here, but it comes at a cost you may have followed, but it is not too late to turn back. Every third time you gain rage, gain twice as much. Oh no, that's that's incredible. Oh no, the, I, I I kind of hoped it was just something really shitty, so I didn't have to take something bad as well. But this is actually really good. So what what is it saying here? This does not include delay rage being gained or triggered. Okay, okay, so it's not as good as I thought. <laughs> I need to read it all before I'm actually making my judgment here. Um, paired repairs. Okay, how much? of our rage is coming from delayed actions. This is not. So one four. Uh, the seals, I do not know. Can we see the seals here? Yes. That is not delayed. That is delayed. So that's, uh, okay, good. Overcharge and this one is nothing, okay. Back to the decks. I need to check this out because it's actually really, really important. That is not delayed. The grounded is not delayed rage. So we have two of those already there. And well, we have one, two, three, four. We have four not delayed and one delayed. Do we have any more anywhere? Well, technically, this one is also giving us more rage. Yeah, well, I've already included that in the, uh, you know, the, uh, yeah. So that's, not, and this one is both. This is both rage 25 and also delayed rage 25. So that's six, no, five, four, and two against. Seal seven rage. So, and this is double the amount. So we actually have seven things that is giving us rage directly and only two that is delayed. I think it is a no-brainer to take this thing. I think it's a no-brainer. This is gonna give us a shit ton of damage. I mean, absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of damage. Um, twice as much. Every third time, twice as much. We're talking hundreds of damage here. Uh, take the item for yourself. Accept its curse. You'll gain one void card. I would hate to have this in my uh, deck. Absolutely hate it. Drain the wicked item of its power. You will gain one void card and eight souls. Absolutely not. Destroy the, the the vile item. You will have no part in this. You gain three souls. Is it good enough to have this one in my deck? The problem with this one is I need to take another card out. Don't I? We, we saw that in the last, you know. We saw that. And I haven't seen any way to get this card out of my deck in the last run. This is a very hard choice, in my opinion, because this is incredible. This is incredible, but having this card in there means that we need to take something out as well. Something. <laughs> I mean, I probably can play with 21 cards until I take something out, but when I do that, I can probably not put something in again. Unless I'm mistaken, maybe we can have 21 cards 
Uh, maybe that's possible. Maybe 21 cards is possible if we have this one. I'm, I'm not too sure about that yet. Uh, but yeah, um, hmm. it's Expel. Actually, you know what? Since we have a lot of energy in many of the rounds, three energy is not that bad to get rid of, but it is definitely a bad card. I'm gonna do it. Be just because I think this artifact is absolutely crazy for us. Absolutely crazy. It's a really, really strong artifact. But I'm actually trying. Uh, so right now we have 20 cards. How did it take something out? <laughs> I, I. We still have four. I think it doesn't count the void. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the power spike. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, I could have seen it up here if I'm not a complete idiot and actually count them all out, but fair enough. So the void is not counting toward the total number. Good to know. I didn't understand that in the last run, but that is making the void a little bit less annoying to be honest it would also have been a little bit of an extreme kind of effect if the void was actually counting toward that number that would have been yeah but now i know so yeah that's uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my decision then soul collector let's go there so we have 10 so we have two things we can actually buy on sale random okay whatever random common artifact eh, it could be good black void stone seven nah probably not and then again and then again, hold on. Whoops, uh, click something wrong. Actually, could you please go out again? Could you please, your deck? Uh, this one is, yeah, the inert. This card's voice don't only trigger once per turn. And we get volatile copy of the card to your hand. Right, so we get a volatile. We could get a volatile of... Hmm. That was something I was just thinking about that I might have lost in, in my thought here. My thought process. Shifting winds. Gain one energy every turn. Plus one max energy. Wrecked. Expel. And put that ghost in there. Right? So we get another one of them. That is... Bongers. That is, that is actually... That, that's actually really, really good. But I might also be another one that I was thinking about. Imprint. Oh, we all yeah, we already have rigged in it. Right, so we can really do that. But <laughs> it's worth thinking about putting it in shifting winds if we were to buy it. The, I haven't seen what the other thing in, in the shop was, but shifting winds, ghost or black or whatever you call them. Uh, what's it called? What are they actually called? Stone. Put that in that one. That's 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 very very good. That is very very good indeed. Uh, suspicious blade oil. Every eight attacks cards played, draw one. That's not bad either. Draw one is just basically the extra energy for me. Uh, but eight attack cards. I mean, we are not. Yeah, I actually think the black voice stone here is better. I don't know what we are going to get from the artifact. So I'm inclined to say that that black voice stone on the shifting winds is absolutely fantastic. Also, because we have Rict on it, that means we will get it from the get-go. And we can just right away, in every single game, gain two of these shifting winds and put them out there and just have the max energy up and the one energy every even, uh, even turn going up. That is good enough for me to take the Black Void Stone here. That is just really, really good. Uh, let's go in there and actually put it in. So we don't forget. Well, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. I really like that. Absolutely. Do that, please. Okay. Okay, that was good. That was, that was another really good deal for us. So here's the question. Do we want to go to the shrine or to this uh, this guy? He got a discharge, one deal, nine damage, trigger, plus X. Inert. Hmm. Surge. I mean, I don't really need to go here. But if we don't go here, we cannot get up here. And we cannot get up here. 
The question is, do I want to fight an elite? Or do I want to heal my 8 health? I definitely want to go for this one. But I can also... I can actually... No, if I go here... Yeah, I, I'd rather take this one than the elite. And this one up here. Because otherwise I would lose out on this opportunity right here. Oh, I definitely want the... I want the uh, retaliate. I definitely want that one. Yep. So, I think I'm actually going to go to the shrine, even with me only having lost 8 health. But that's actually a good chunk of my health, <laughs> of my total now. So, I feel like a shrine... I haven't been to a shrine yet, and I also want to see what it actually does. And I do want this one, so it makes most sense to go in this direction. Pray for life. Heal 30% of your max health. That's 8. Uh, pray for greed. Grain 500 essence and free souls. Remove up to 2 void cards from your deck. Well, I only have one, but it's... Ooh, I, don't... <laughs> I love how this game is giving me so many good choices to, to, to choose between. It's like, it, it's just nice to have good choices rather than having a mix of bad choices and then one good. Because that's obvious, that's most of the deck builders I've been playing. It's like, oh, everything here is not really that great except from one thing. Or some other deck builders are like, all of the options are like, nah, I don't really care too much. Here, so far, in this game, there are just tons of good choices to make between. And that is just more fun, and <laughs> it's just more enjoyable. It's just more enjoyable, to be honest. Um, any of these three choices are good for me. And any of them are good. Question is, which one is the best one, right? Um, remove one of my... Remove my uh, Void card. That's decent. Gain five, 500 essence and 3 souls. Well, we don't really know what we're going to get for that, but it's it's not a bad choice. Um, and, and, and just heal the health just before the boss fight. I mean... <laughs> uh, I don't think 8 health here in this situation is actually 30%. It's probably more like 20% or even less than that. I can't make my mouth up here. Probably 17% or whatever, 16%. Something, something below 30 that's for sure. Um... You know what? I'll, I'll actually remove the, the Void card. I feel like getting rid of that is probably going to make life a lot easier in many of the battles. It's going to be annoying to have it in there. And it's probably worth more than the 500 Essence. And also, you can argue about the health, but uh, you can also argue about getting more Essence for future uh, shops and stuff. Definitely can argue about the 500 Essence, that's for sure. But right now, I feel like, just get rid of that Void. I hate it. Just get rid of it. Goodbye. So, yeah, that's my choice. I definitely, there are arguments for both other choices. Absolutely, 100%. Anyway, let's move on and get this retaliate on some fight. I don't know what it is. It is the uh, Voidmore. A single creature fight where the beast gets stronger as you purge cards. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, purge is not the same as this card. So, purge is where we probably... Is purge where we actually get energy and this card is i'm not sure which uh, technically what which one is what but we do actually have one card that is saying purge so uh, might want to use that card in this deal and i'm not unsure if what is this card and what is purge in terms of getting energy uh, i guess i'll figure that one out in this fight then <laughs> uh yeah right and it seems like it's just one guy in there so did i forget something in here no. No, we're good. We aren't good. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we are up against here. So, shifting winds. Two times, basically. That's good. Then imprint. One time. That's free energy. And then we can purge or discard two cards. And do... Nope, we don't have enough for any kind of attacking abilities. So maybe we don't want to do imprint. Maybe we want to wait with imprint for next turn. Just just do the two shifting winds. And then do... Hmm. Yeah, that's the problem, right? We don't really have a lot in this turn. We never really have a lot in the starting turn. Because that is where we are like trying to buff ourselves toward where we have a lot of energy. So, But anyway, I feel like this is always going to be the best for me to do. No matter basically who we are up against. Um, the, the problem is I can't really do a whole lot else in this turn. Wait, hold on. 
See, this one is not saying this turn. Add three volatile copies of the next attack played to hand. That should technically work next turn as well. <laughs> I don't need to do it this turn. Unless I'm mistaken. But, you know, that... We will see. We'll see. Um, that I do not want to play next turn. So here's the thing. If I right-click, is that a purge? Or is that a discard? That is a purge. Okay, good to know. Okay, good. So I'll probably not do that uh, again. Because I don't really want this guy to be all-powerful and all. Increase one, increase by one each time you purge a card. Yeah, so purge is when you get energy. Okay, fair enough. Just technically not sure if it was discard or purge that gained me energy. Uh, when it is reached, three. And then, then it re okay, so three is the amount... I am gonna gamble and say I don't really need to purge again after this. And I do not want to use Galvanize anyway in the next turn, I don't think. So I'm gonna purge one more because it's not gonna reset before. Three. End. Turn. I don't mind having this block actually because he's doing 16 next turn. So that might come in handy having in my hand anyway. So eh, it all worked out. It all worked out. Alright. Here we go. Blood for blood. That is definitely not a bad one. Uh, if I wanted to use... It, is it still here? Yes, the imprint is still here. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, we do have a lot of block as well. But... Yeah, we need to do two blocks. Unless... No, we are not getting block anymore from the seals. So that's not going to... So blood for blood could give me three other blood for blood. This one is going to be too expensive to 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 use with uh, the imprint. I think blood for blood is. I mean, it's not the best one to use with imprint. We had that other. What is it called? The other one was just absolutely bonkers with it. Uh, where is it? Rumble. Rumble is absolutely crazy with the imprint. I mean, that's just absolutely disgustingly good. Um, yeah, blood for blood. Still uh, lots of damage here, and we just need to have enough to do. Actually, I should have done this beforehand. So I have the... Um... Oh, he didn't get... Does he have something that makes sure that he is not getting shock? Apparently he did. Hmm. That's annoying. But yeah, so we can probably do... I can only really do one more blood here. Because I don't really want to purge, so he's getting more angry. I don't really want to do that. So maybe I want to do this instead and get some more overcharge instead of using blood for blood. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm wrong. I need, I need to do this again. Yeah, he's not getting the, uh, he's not getting the uh, shocks for reasons I'm not too sure about. And then one more blood for blood. Not, not, not really great. Not really great here. And my problem is I cannot get rid of the galvanize and the this. I, I'm not sure if it is actually worth it for me to just do it anyway and let him power up. Maybe later on it is, but right now I don't feel like doing it because I don't know how much powerful, more powerful he's going to get. Actually, is it saying here plus 2 AP? Yeah, I mean, if he's doing 16 right now, I uh, I don't have a lot of wiggle room here in terms of how many blocks I do have in my build. Um, hmm. Deal 15 damage to all enemies, solo trigger twice. That's good. <laughs> uh, oh, hey. I forgot it, but it's actually working out in my favor because... Now I can do it here with the all alone and trigger it three times. Yes. And get rid of Galvanize, I think. I need, I, I need to get rid of more. And I actually, I do need to start purging here because otherwise I would take way too much damage. Um, hmm. I am gonna gamble a little bit here on the battle plan it's it's base it's not really a gamble because i actually gained the energy back again by purging but in this case it's actually bad to purge but i'm gonna do it anyway i still feel i still feel like the all uh, all alone is still the best play here but i'm gonna give him more ap to do some really heavy damage here and uh, the rumble okay yeah i i i need to do the 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 rumble before the all alone Definitely. Um, get rid of this one. I'm not going to use that one. 
Um, this got oh two cards. Oh god. Um, okay. Hmm. That's not good. I only have one energy, and I. <laughs> well, grounded. <laughs> You're gonna go. You're gonna go because I. I. Let's oh, the sixteen. Oh, this fight is not good for me. This fight is not good for me at all. I need to block some of this damage, that's for sure. We do still have our health pot, but yeah. Um, I don't think I have enough for all alone in this. I, I just, I just, it would be nice to start doing a good amount of chunk of damage on him, but I can maybe do that next turn because this turn I need to take care of my health situation here. So I need to get rid of this. Do this. Right. Yeah, he's, 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 he's down on zero now because I purged, but I actually need to purge again. Um, and do the rumble. So next time I'm doing the heavy cards, I will get it. Uh, but yeah, right now it's not it's not, it's not not ideal. I, I think I'm going to keep this grounded. Um, yeah. Just because I can get the overcharge and the rage. Oh, no, is that on odd? Actually, yeah, no, I don't. Do I want to dispel this? No. Oh, not dispel. Purge it. Nah. Just keep it. Just keep it around for now. Yeah, that's four health I can. I couldn't avoid that. Uh, no, no. Nothing I can do about it. We are the days now. Divine Retribution. Raise 50. Oh, shit. Four energy. Attack 20 next turn. Okay. This, this guy is actually a problem. He's really powerful against us. Uh, block 10. Discharge 1. Apply. Yeah. We don't really need to defend ourselves in this one. I actually need it damaging here. Jesus. All rigged cards is going on top. We don't have anything in our deck right now, so that's not even gonna help me. <sighs> Man! Not not lucky here either with the uh, end of the deck and how it came. So I guess maybe giving him even more and just go crazy on this one could be ideal. Right now he's only doing 9 damage. That's uh, It's never gonna be good, is it? <laughs> it's never gonna be good. <laughs> I think the Divine Retribution is not working for me, even with that rage 50%. Yeah. I mean, the, the here's the thing. The Divine Retribution is giving me 4 energy back, right? No, actually, how much was it? How much is it? 2. It's only giving me 2. Yeah. So I could... Technically, I can't get rid of that. That's what it's right. So, what would what would I like to play after this one? Probably the grounded. So, this one I could get rid of, right? Then play this, get two energy back, and then power spike it. And oh, that well, um, okay, that's fine. I'm still having one more exit for next turn. I just forgot about. It. I'll I'll get that for cheap. Um, but okay, I mean, but, but still, we have so much health on him, and he's already, you know. Taking us down quite easily here with 20 damage. Really tough fight with our setup. Okay. 17. How did we block 3 here? This one. Block pack gave us some block. Okay. Good. Oh, rumble again. Right. Um. Hmm. 33 damage, overcharge 2, blood for blood, uh, dissipate. We definitely use, we need to use the dissipate here. We, we can't take too much damage unless I really want to use my, uh, but we can't take 17. That's just too much. So no matter what, I would use this. Right? I would probably never, I, mean, I think the galvanize is just costing too much. It's probably costing too much with my current build because there are other, there are, there are other cards that are cheaper that I more often will use. So Galvanize, eh, the overcharge here is not really helpful too much in this situation. Get rid of it. Down to zero again, so he's going to power up even further. He's going to do 22 next time. And we... Oh man, he, he could actually kill us. This guy could actually get me. 
he could actually get me. And I didn't. I I think this is the first time I'm up against him. I don't think we played against him in the last run, so I didn't really know. I didn't know what to expect here. Um, okay. But here's the thing, the blood for blood is a heavy card again, it's gonna give me two back. But if I play this first, it's gonna give me three back, which is actually enough to do galvanize, I'm pretty sure of. Uh, get rid of the shield wall, or do I wanna block instead? Yeah, I probably wanna block instead of doing the um, more damage, yeah, there we go. And then we get enough to do that. Perfect. That was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. But I didn't know that would happen, right? I, I have no idea. That was just that was just the luck of the draw. I mean, is there a, a way I can actually know what I'm gonna get? I don't think so. I don't think it's in order of what I'm getting. I think it's just a random card I'm getting, unless I'm misread misread something or just didn't understand something. Um, no, I think I think you don't gain them in a significant or in in any order. I think you get them by random, right? Um, hmm. But yeah, that was that was really good. That was a good turn. Very good turn for us. Okay. 22. Hmm. Well, we do have two, two uh, dispaid, so that is going to help us out quite a bit. We also have the Limit Breaker, which is, well, almost killing him. Nah, not really. Not for four. Gain one energy. Hmm. Well, and it's heavy, so he's actually giving me... How much? It is giving me... What? Why is it gone? Wait, is those disappearing? Oh, okay, I guess... Yeah, I must have misunderstand the... Hmm... So the rumble... The next time you play a heavy card, gain two energy. Okay, so it's disappearing. It's actually not a buff that is. That will also. Uh, yeah, I, I misunderstood that. So it, it's only that time you play the heavy card, you gain two energy. The next time you won't get, because then it's gone. Then you have used it and you got the two energy. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, it was still crazy in our battle where we did it. Uh, where we. Uh, what, what's it called? Um, what was that card we used? In the beginning of the game, always. I forget the, I forget, I forget the names. Shifting winds, right? No. Imprint, yeah. Where we imprinted the rumbles. Because we had three times we could do it. Or even four times, I don't remember. That's why I never noticed that they were running out. Because we just had so many of them. Um, Alright. Uh, in that case. In that case, we just have four energy. And we can't kill him. Therefore... Definitely the blocks. And then I am thinking... <laughs> See... Now he's getting shocked. Okay, whatever. I would like to do damage here, but I'm also giving him more damage. But I don't think the damage is enough to justify that I'm not doing 38 damage and gaining one more energy here. I mean, I'm not slaying him, so I'm actually not gaining the energy. I'm just doing 38 damage, plus the 5, so that's 40. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 42, 3, 43. I think, I think that's worth him getting more powerful, because we are getting him down to where I can just kill him next turn. I should probably have done more damage and purging more. I kind of overestimated how powerful he could get. Um, I could definitely have dealt with... A little bit more powerful void more than uh, what I was expecting here. Uh, deal 5 damage. That is how much? 13. I don't think the Divine Retribution is good enough to have in here. I don't think I get enough energy to make it work right now. Same with the Errantry. I don't really make it work right now. But that's better than the Divine Retribution to be honest. Overall. Because of the rage and all that. Um, grounded. Alright. Ah. We didn't really get something that could kill him here. Which is a problem. Unless... Well, he's not doing any damage next to it. So it's, it's, it's actually fine. It's just, it's just a little bit annoying. Uh, let's just do... Let's do that first, actually. Let's do that one first. Did it only... What? It only gave me one seal? Okay. 
Well, do that. Um, can't really do a whole lot else here. I can only do like 10 damage here on this. I'm getting rid of this one and doing a little bit more damage. Uh, you know what? Since I get 50% rage from it, I might as well use... Just get rid of this. Do that. 15 damage. It's fine. In turn. It's okay. It's fine. I should be able to kill him this turn. Unless I'm getting extremely unlucky. Um, I should be able to kill him here. Yeah. That, that should do, right? That's 31 damage. Goodbye. Okay. That was a really tough fight. And I kind of misplayed. Or I kind of... My tactical choices. Or my strategic choice here. Of not uh, perching a little bit more. Was probably... How did he survive that? Didn't we just do 30? He broke 26 fortitude. Oh my god. Sorry, what now? Where did that 26 fortitude come from? Well, okay, but I just... <laughs> okay, I guess he can also fortitude. Okay, fair enough, but I just didn't mm, see that at all. And that is five. So we need... How much is that doing per energy? Should be enough if I just get rid of the rest, but I'm... I'm oh, wait, we also have all alone. Okay. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just do that. I mean, if, if this is not killing him, I, I, don't, I don't know anymore. I just don't know. Good. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that, that confused me. That confused me quite a bit. How the hell did he get the fortitude? <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, but yeah, uh, that was dangerous. That fight was. I mean, we are down to 36 health, but uh, sh you know, that should be still doable for the boss fight. Anyway, we got our new retaliate, and I think we're gonna take it out for the. Uh, well, we're getting another X card, but I'm definitely gonna take another X card out. That's for sure. This one, it's not, it's not working for me. I mean, it's 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 a decent, it's very very decent. Um, I I just feel like deal five damage and block for X time. I need block, right? I need block a lot, but the rage is also good. What about the other X cards I got? I mean, I got the Erantry, which is also Rage, and got a stone in it as well. Rage 25, Delay 25, Seal 2, 20... Yeah, yeah it's, you know what? I feel like this one is just a little bit better than the other two. Um, in, in this deck. Didn't we have another one as well? Oh, it's actually here, the Thunderstorm. Hmm. Right. <laughs> I don't know, I mean... I'm gonna take it because we also need block, but I'm a little bit worried about my energy, how much energy I can, I mean, that fight was also completely broken with me not perching enough. If we perch more, we will also have more energy, of course, so yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine with this in. Alright, did we get, oh yeah, hello, we got an overcharge one, okay. Uh, well, well, well. We don't want it on that. X retaliate. Meh. I mean, uh, overcharge on that one is actually not too bad. Limit break, nah. All alone. A anything that I use very often, overcharge is pretty good on. Blood for blood, I could definitely put it on this one. Uh, what would be better in blood for blood? Uh, rig it. Did draw, draw one, discount one. Rage 25, not really. Block 4 is arguably maybe better than Overcharge on it, but it's that's very situational. This one is always good on Blood for Blood, where the block is more situational. This one is not. I feel like it's actually pretty good for Blood for Blood. Probably the best one I can put in it right now. All right, cool. Not yeah, not even, not, not, just, not just right now, but at any given time, actually. All right, do we want to go up here and try this guy? I could lose more health. I do not who I do not know who is up here. No clue. Uh, vulnerable two to all enemies. Apply two shock to all enemies. Gambling a bit of our health. Hmm. It is probably worth doing if I am not losing any health to do this, and more often than not, I'm not losing any health. So yes, we will take that fight as well. We will take that fight. 
It is the a balanced fight, which requires you to apply damage quickly to avoid having your deck overrun with Banes. All right, it's, it's not the most annoying thing in the world for me. Um, the Hounds of Hell. So what, what is the plan here? What is the play? Well, that's 100% battle progress. So arguably, if we can kill him really quickly, that would be good. And he's also probably the danger boy in here. He's probably the one doing the most damage. When this enemy is destroyed, all other enemies suffer week three. Oh yeah, we definitely want to kill him first then. And ignite the enemy will deal the yeah, eyes. Definitely just go for this guy and then deal with the rest afterwards. All right. All right. Where is he? In the mid. Good. And we are starting with imprint, shifting winds. We have three energy, of course. One, two, three. So, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think we're just doing double shifting winds. Imprint. And then next turn. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence on Galvanize right now because it's just too expensive most of the time to use. And often I would rather use the Axis. Uh, definitely want to use this probably next turn where they are doing quite a lot of yeah quite a lot of damage so we have the block for that grounded arguably this turn would be nice to use the grounded so I would probably get rid of galvanized to get this one out along with these two yeah um hmm yeah uh, volatile I mean, I'm not going to attack anyone this turn. So that is done and dusted. This one and this one. Get rid of Galvanize. Get the grounded out. Keep this, in this, keep this card around for next turn. Because I think it could be good next turn. Where I can maybe even possibly kill one of these small guys. If I really wanted to. Or just avoid a good chunk of the damage by having... I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's also... Mm, I mean, it's heavy, so it would also give me... No, I haven't played that yet. It wouldn't give me... Uh, nope. Nope, it wouldn't. <laughs> it's not giving me any energy. You know what? I'll take the extra energy next turn instead of that card and just gamble on getting some uh, block. Yeah. 18. That's a lot. And it also gave me a Bane. That's annoying. Uh, shit. Yeah, that was a bad gamble, wasn't it? That was a really terrible gamble. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, we could upgrade, draw one more, discard one. Oh, well, I just need to discard one of these and upgrade them. Go crazy. I mean, I don't really see... I can't, I can't really do anything about not taking damage here. Which is terrible news. Horrible news. Just before the boss fight. Uh, but this guy could actually draw two and gain one energy by killing one of them when we have upgraded. Likely. I'm gonna do this. We also got more draw here. Which is definitely also worth it. This one... I, I can't do it. Limit break cost too much. I think I got too many cards that cost just way too much in my deck right now. I think I need more that is costing me less because right now it's, there's something that is not synergizing or working too well and I feel like it's an energy too many in a, too many cards that cost too much too much energy kind of problem right now more than anything else. Uh, 30 damage. Yeah, but I can't, I, can't, I can't really afford it compared to what else I could I mean, getting getting uh, some 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 card that could actually help me out with that damage would just be the ideal choice. This is also giving rates 25, which is also pretty helpful. Right, we got two display, we got the ramble, that's pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of Errantry. And I can wait with the grounded, it's not very important right now. Or the power spike. Power spike is also not very, very important. But yeah, it's <laughs> I don't know. It, none of them is probably going to get played anyway. Just get rid of that one. Definitely going to use this now. Might as well use the other one. I it would be nice to be able to use second chance and get draw two and gain one energy. And you know what? Yes, I will. Because I will still have enough for this paid. Because of that energy. Uh, might as 
will kill this guy. He's gonna ignite a one. What is he gonna? This enemy will deal three damage whenever it is the target of. Well, how much is it? Three. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that with the dissipate. Okay, that's fine. Do it. Do it. And whoa, what did we get? Oh, that's the first attack card we did. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, so how many of those can we actually do? Two. If I got rid of the rest of these, I could do two of these. That's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, wait, I also get the energy if I kill them. So yeah, I can actually do all three. That's enough to kill them all. Unless I'm completely mistaken here. But you know what? I'm going to go off on, on a assumption here and say I can kill them all. I actually already got all six. Okay. Uh, that's 55. 55. Another 44. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> no. That was not... I mean, that was a bit lucky as well. Because I didn't really... I forgot about that I hadn't attacked anyone. So I actually got the volatile... That was, uh, well, it was pretty ideal, but it was also a synergize that I have not thought about and didn't, I mean, not seen coming at all. But that was cool. That was that was really cool. All right. That was fun. That was really, that was actually really fun. Um, but I am thinking about taking something in that is costing less somewhere. Galvanize, not really working out for me right now. Um, apply two vulnerable on all enemies. Apply two. Shock to all enemies. The problem is that the heavy is nice, but the heavy is only nice if I actually get the where is it? Imprint. No, it's not imprint. It is rumble out. And then rumble is all, only really, really nice if I get to copy it as well. So all that heavy stuff and all that extra energy is only with that synergizing of getting rumble copied. And right now it's just not there. I mean, it's it's very gimmicky because it's not every time I can do that at all. It's like, that was one time it happened and after that it haven't happened since. Right. But I, I I don't really see this helping me out a whole lot more. Vulnerable is kind of nice because they will take more damage from the big hits. And it is to all enemies. So, you know, why not? Let's just try it in there. It, I think it's going to help me more than the Galvanite right now. So, let's just try it in there. And... Anything else? No, not really. Let's go for the boss fight. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we are there. I don't think I have anything else to really do. Is it the same fight as the last time? Yeah, I think it was the Skeleton King, wasn't it? Or maybe not. Lord of the Bones, Emperor of Dust, the Rattling Master, no matter the name he wears, he is ancient as he is cruel and as eternal as the bones of all things. I think I already read that out last time as well, so yeah. A fairly well-rounded fight with the ability to inflict fear. Killing his minions will heal the king himself. I believe that was also the fight last time. 100%. So, hmm, what are they doing here? When the enemy is destroyed, it will heal the skeleton king. Okay. But they're probably going to do quite a, a good amount of damage, so I don't know. Maybe we want to kill them first, but that's only Battle Progress 5, so that's a kind of... apply. It's kind of a, you know implicated here that you probably should go for the Skeleton King, because you can, you can kill them in this endlessly. And he also do 11 damage from standard, so I feel like probably... Hold on, the Banish spell here... Uh, hmm. I'm still gonna go with the draw one upgrade all cards. It's actually very very good, especially with our copy ability. Um, sure. Can I ma can I manage the seal? Can I like change the seals? No. So why is it saying managing seals? <laughs> You can only manage shields if you do have the fervor, right? Or fever, fever. Oh, wow, I hate that word. Oh, wait, no. So I can click down here, but I can click this one. Huh. So the main, or only the ones that you have unlocked, you can actually choose between. All right. All right. 
I definitely want to raise 25 instead. Uh, but anyway, that's not really helpful right now. Okay, let's get in here. Let's get killed. Enrage plus six. What? Oh, okay. Uh, right. And they're doing five damage each. And that's probably what about what they can do. So that's ten damage next turn. Or threat. Whatever you like. Do I really need to do the imprint now? I mean, I could, I could wait. I could wait, but... I mean, I'm not, I mean, there's nothing else here. Uh, the vulnerable seems to be good here, actually. Apply shock to all, vulnerable to all, but yeah, I don't... It's setting me, myself up to next turn to do a really good attack with this one as well. So I feel like, yes, please. Um, and again, retaliate, not really helpful. I, again, it's... It sounds better than it is right now in my deck. Um, it sounds better than it actually is. Shield wall, not useful here. Prime Curie. The vulnerable is going to be there for next turn. And also the... What was the other one? The shock debuff, yeah. But I can't use them this turn, but... You know... Get rid of this as well. So next, this turn, I hope for some kind of attack where I can actually apply this vulnerable. I also need some kind of... Yeah, just one block would do... One dissipate. We got rumble. Perfect. That's good. We got limit break. Not not the end of the world. I haven't even tried it yet, have I? I probably want to do rumble because that's copying three times. I mean, yeah. Yes, please. Um, so that's a no-brainer. But do I want to do my dissipate first to get more shock? Yes, I do. Uh, they didn't get the block, or they didn't get the shock, or... Uh, it seems like the shock is just not getting applied every single time. I... Okay. All right. Let's do the rumble and get a couple of copy of those. We need to get rid of something. I forget about that every single time. I don't think I'm going to get the limit breakout. I could potentially with all the energy we're going to get right now. Actually, I don't need this. I don't need the dissipate. Here, so just get rid of it. All right. So here, here we go. Here we go. Um, do we have any heavy cards? Yes, we do. That is giving me two energy. But if I could get it out after two rumbles, which I probably could, I could gain even more energy by doing it. I don't need the blood for blood. So what I'm thinking here is... Wait, hold on. No, we haven't lost any health. Do that. Okay, battle plan. That's also interesting. But not interesting enough. Actually, yes. But I will get rid of it because of it. Uh, so we have one energy here. We gain four if we use a heavy card right now. So if I use this right now, just get rid of the blood for blood. Use that. We got four energy again. We can do two other rumbles. And then we still have two energy left, which we can't really use before next turn. But that's still pretty solid. That is still pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. That is still pretty solid. Or do I just want to do the limit break here? But these will get used. No, I'd rather use these then. Definitely rather use these. Uh, ooh, hello. Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. Trigger your shield. That's actually not bad either here. I'll trigger my shields. 10 power. I mean, I'm already on 8, but... Yeah, you know. Sure. Why did I only get one seal? It's saying I should trigger uh, the 10 seal, but... It only got up to 9. Is that, like, broken or something? I don't know. Where is it? Trigger your seal 10 power. Purge, apply one shock to all enemies. Sorry, what now? Yeah, I don't know. I forgot to upgrade. Again. <laughs> well, that was, a, that was a pretty good round. Not gonna lie, that was, uh, that was pretty decent. I don't know why I didn't get my uh, seal, but... Yeah. 20... What now? I didn't check them. I honestly didn't check. I just focused on myself here. And all right. 27. We got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that's gonna suck. I mean, I do have a healing, uh, but still, and we do get all of our health uh, back for the next, you know, next layer. That seems pretty good. I'll get energy back, right? I'll get four energy by using two energy here and do 20 damage and overcharge two. Y yes, please. Actually, hold on. I'll do this one first. And then do it. Okay. But we're gonna take some damage here, but it might not matter too much. Right, uh... I should probably have do... Nah, I couldn't really do all the grounded here, but I can definitely do them now. And then do the... All alone. That's doing a massive amount of damage here. On everyone. Hmm. I mean, I didn't really want to kill them, but I mean... You know, again, I forgot to upgrade, but... Yeah. Alright. 17 damage. It, 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 that might not be the end of the world. Because I think we kill him next turn, and then we gain all our health back anyway, so... Yeah. 35, 32, 20, hmm. Upgrade, sure. Block for blood. Uh, I think a retaliate could actually kill him here if we are deleting most of our cards or uh, purging most of our cards. Second chance might actually already be there. Galvanize. Don't really need that shield wall. Potentially, no, we don't need the shield wall, you know. Just get rid of it. Uh, I think we got enough. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, yeah, good. Right, but still, um, small worries about our health situation. But yeah, as you can see, we are 48 48 now again. So, new spell from Dust. Cool. We'll just check out some of these stuff before we end this uh, episode. I mean, it is an absolutely long episode, but that's gonna be every single time. I'm sorry, guys, but that's just how it is. Promise of Life gain additional 25% max health. That is is very very good in our situation right now promise of antiquity obtain your um, okay this uncommon artifact and what is it an upgraded version of the first card you purge in a fight will be added to your hand okay okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i mean that is also uh an upgraded version. So we actually want to get rid of the card we purge because we want to play it, but in an upgraded version. Uh, that is that that's that's interesting, right? That's that's I mean get rid of this. Get an improved imprint. I'll get four voltile copies. I'll, I'll, I mean uh, so many possibilities here, right? Gain one energy every will get an upgraded version of that with ghost. Without using it to begin with. It's just getting discarded instead of going expel. I don't exactly know if that is how it's going to be working. Yeah, we will purge it. We wouldn't be using it, right? So it would just go back into our deck at some point, And then we can use it again. The non-upgraded version, that is. Wow. That is also a very strong choice. If all the mechanics is working how I'm thinking about them right now. That is also strong. Promise of jewels. Gain two random void stones. Okay. I actually took this the last time, didn't I? Yeah. Promise of wellness. Gain one. I think it's between the max health and this uncommon artifact. But it is a very good uncommon artifact. Uh, uh, I can't lie. It's uh, an upgraded version of this card. Of the first card you purge in a fight will be added to your hand. And if you purge a card, like, let's say, this one, which is an x bill card, it would go not into the x build cards. It would go into a discarded pile, and then we will get it again later when it's reshoveled into the deck. If that's true, which I think it is, then this artifact is very, very, very good in our setup. But it is also a bit of a gamble not taking the 25 health. But I think I'm I think I'm all about the gamble here. I think I'm gonna go for the promise of antiquity. Let's go for it. Why not? Proceed. And we are on to the next layer, which is gonna be next time, guys. 
anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I mean, so far it's been... I mean, this this run is even more fun than the last one we had, the, the first run we had. For me, at least. The, 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 the deck building in this game is so good. It, it's, it is just so, so, so good. There are this game have a lot going for it. I mean, a lot. Anyway, I'll, I I hope you enjoyed as much as I do, and uh, yeah, see you around next time.